I'm Logan Hanley, and welcome to Fabled 42 Network, where we build community through friendship, gaming, and just a little bit of chaos. Uh, right now, you guys are watching the Cantor Chronicles, uh, which you guys can watch here on the Fabled 42 Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Fabled 42, every second and fourth Fridays. Uh, right now, we're going to be getting into our first prelude episode featuring Gino, the Marabou Fighter, and Nessa, the Vampire Spawn Cleric. Uh, but before we actually get into the adventure, uh, how about some announcements? Sola? Sure. Ah, sorry, I muted myself. Uh, I will be the voice behind the curtain, <laughs> per se. So uh, there are two ways to support uh, the players here, uh, Gino or Nessa. You can support through your subscription or donate through the Ugadork menu down below. Uh, the menu uh, really does break down um, how you can donate uh, healing potions or inspiration die for the players. Either way, all you have to do is just say, hey, this potion is for Gino, and I will see that, and I will ping uh, Logan as quickly as possible, and he'll bring it into the narrative when he sees fit. Uh, if you are a subscriber, you do get one free healing potion and inspiration die every single episode of every show for the month. So make sure to use those because they do stack. 
Uh, big shout out to our uh, longtime sponsors, Griffin Co. Everything that you see that is 3D printed is from Griffin Co. Uh, big shout out to Vorpal Board. Uh, what you see here, the video and audio displays, digital dice, zoom features on the battle map are all brought to you by Vorpal Board. Uh, and new on the docket is Tabletop Game and Hobby, which is our one-stop shop for your gaming needs. And a big shout-out to the rest of our sponsors, Caffeinated Kobold, Underground Oracle, Slayer's Guild, Master Monk Gaming, uh, Tabletop Things, Plaid Elephant Props, and Plus One Crafting. Uh, I will be doing a giveaway at the mid-show, uh, so make sure to stick around for that and look for the exclamation point raffle for that giveaway. Uh, back to you, Logan. Awesome. So as we begin our adventure together, we find ourselves about a mile and a half away from the city of Deepwell, one of the larger city-states within the continent of Cantor. Uh, the small town, if you will, centered around Lagatha's Lounge, a tavern uh, meant to get people out of the crowded city, uh, whether they're traveling into or out, but it's really meant as a way station for those who um, wish to go into Deepwell or venture to the rest of Cantor. Uh, we find ourselves currently in an alleyway as a confused and disoriented Nessa wakes up from what seems to be a nap. <laughs> Shite. What do I see? Uh, currently, you are sitting into, uh, you're sitting inside an alleyway where uh, on one side of you, you have the stables, and on the other side, uh, you can kind of hear, hear the noise from within, so you can uh, assume it to be Lagatha's Lounge. You've frequented the lounge multiple, plenty of times in, in growing up. Uh, so it's a pretty easy noise to, to spot. Great. I, I'll i go towards, I'll try to like get up. Can I okay. stand? Yeah. So as you stand up, the first sensation that you get, you get like really lightheaded at first, um, but then it like kind of hits you. Your stomach starts to kind of tie up in knots. Not necessarily like the, I'm going to throw up, but more of like the, I'm starving. Oh, I've been in this situation before. Uh, I'm gonna go up to the la I'm gonna go up to Lagatha's. I love Lagatha's. Okay. Yeah. So as you walk in, um, as you walk in and open the door, you, you're first greeted with this nice warmth from the hearth, from the earth or from the hearth. Sorry. Um, and the sound of people talking and laughing um, and some cursing as well and, and scary. Most of the faces sitting at the table, like at the tables around you, but like none of the names are coming to your head. Uh, and as you're kind of sitting there quizzically looking around, you hear from behind the bar, hey, Nessa, what, you're yeah. taking a nap or something in the mud. You're all dirty. Oh, and, you turn and look at the bar and you see this older female dwarf uh, that you would know to be Lagatha. OK, Lagatha. Hi. I, um, I, I wasn't in here earlier, was I? I, no, no, you, no? You just was in here just now. Oh, um, God, fuck my head. Um, I, I need, I'm starving. Would you, uh, yeah. sorry, I'm all over the place. I can't. Yeah, come, come here, dearie. Uh, here, take a seat. You're, you're looking kind of, you look. Where were you? Uh Oh my god, you know that's that's a great that's a great question. I have no idea. I I um I just woke up in the alleyway just now, but, but I I I don't I, I must I must be like fucking hypoglycemic something. I can't I can't remember. You, <laughs> you then, look famished. I'll, I'll get you something to eat. And she watches, she like kind of touts over to the back and starts getting yourself a plate or, get, you know, feet, fixing you up a plate from the kitchen and brings out, uh, here, here you go. And she brings you a nice little like glass of water as well. Oh, thanks. I'm just going to like shovel, shovel it into my face. You'll put yeah, it on my tab, so, right? Yeah. You'll put it, just put it on my, put it on my tab. 
yeah, yeah. And she goes off and <laughs> does her own thing and starts, you know, catering to the other patrons. As you're shoveling this food into your mouth, you, you the first thing you notice is that all of this food tastes like ash. Like it, uh, it, it tastes like it's overburnt and like looking at it, like, you know, this is quality stuff that you've had here before. Right. Huh. Well, I don't want to insult Legatha's food. Do I feel like I'm getting any fuller or am I just like, it's nothing's happening? No, there, there's nothing happening. Like, the like you're eating and you're feeling it like you're, you're chewing and you're swallowing and you're, you know, going through all the motions, but that like your stomach is still in knots, that hunger is still there. Um, and then you pick it up, not with your, like with your mouth, but with your nose, this, this smell. It smells almost sweet and Ooh. it's drawing you back out into the, you know, what would be, you know, um, roadway where, where Lagatha is sit, sat on. All right. I'm going to follow it. I'll just forget the food. <laughs> All right. Um, so you leave and you walk out of Lagatha's and as you do, you notice that the smell is con it, the, the sense and the, this, this flavor almost is starting to pick up as you continue to walk closer and closer to the, uh, to the stables. Okay. I'm gonna, does it like, I, I, yeah, you just, I guess, keep following it. I'm like, hmm. as you stable. get into the stables, like into the actual stables where all the stalls are, you're drawn to one stall in particular where a boy is sitting or like, you know, shoveling some hay and, and horse shit out of the way. Uh, hi there. Hi. Um, can I, can I help you? This possibly, uh, this is going to sound weird. Um, I've been following a particularly nice smell. I just, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what it is. There's something sort of drawn me, but here you are with a pile of shit and I don't see anything particularly delicious. I, I, I don't know why someone would find shit an appetizing smell, but I mean, by all means, and like he goes to like walk through you and step out of the alleyway or like step mm -hmm. out of the stable. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to, can I smell the boy? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Just a sentence I thought I'd never say. Yeah. So as he walks by you, that smell just like it's like you walked into your your parents' house and your mom is making a fantastic Thanksgiving dinner. It just smells and you're just like, oh, yes. Oh shit. Ah, uh, well, that's what. I'm going to just kind of follow the boy. <laughs> okay. Like not yeah. like I don't want to be too close like I realize I'm being creepy, but like uh, I'm just like god fuck, I don't know. I'm so hungry. Okay. Uh as you kind of you decide to pull back. Give me a stealth check. Just out of okay. curiosity. Okay. Ooh, first roll. Oh. All right. Um use my new canter dice <laughs> it's a six awesome <laughs> so you feel like you're being pretty stealthy and you're like you're like okay and like as he walks by you you walk into the stall and like pretend to eat you know some shit and distract yourself and then you're drawn back out and in there um into the the main part of the stable uh and as you're kind of watching him as he's moving from stable to stable cleaning throwing down hay uh you notice a cart coming in uh, huh. where Gino you are currently bringing your cart into the stable to uh, get your horse unhitched and uh, get settled for the night at Lag Lagatha's lounge before you head out into the wilderness of Cantor. You see not only the, the stable boy that's there, but you also see this half elven looking figure, maybe about three or four stalls behind. Uh, kind of eyeing the boy with, uh, like, like the wolf looks at Red Riding Hood. Can I like subtly incite this and uh, 
Yeah, sure. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, suddenly it's like yeah. sort of like oh, I've been in I've been in cities before. <laughs> uh that's a 17. So, wow, yeah, okay. Um yeah, it, it's kind of creepy and kind of weird. Um, but like looking in the eyes of this woman, you see hunger. Okay. And a little bit of curiosity. Uh, do I do I recognize is this stable boy somebody I've uh, talked to before since I've been here? Yeah, you've uh, passed in and out of Deepwell a handful of times. You know this boy is Ari. Uh, hey Ari, how are you? How are you doing? Oh, hey Gino, uh, I'm I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, you know, can't complain, can't complain. Fair amount of fair amount of sales today. Things are going quite well. Um, that's awesome. That's good to hear. Yeah. Say, um, you know, I've got some, I, I actually found a couple, uh, interesting items while I was here. Why don't you, uh, why, why don't you, why don't you come yeah, help me put this away and I'll show you some of the things I've found. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to set them up for the night. Your horse as well. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'll head out in the morning. All right. Uh, and, uh, he begins to walk toward the cart and begin unhitching the horse, going toward the back of the cart where you sat and, what do we got this time? Well, uh, I'm gonna uh, let, me, let me look through what I've got left, and uh, it's definitely a situation where uh, I, I may be trying to make things seem a little more interesting than they might really be. Okay. Uh, and I'm, you know, the whole time I'm gonna keep like kind of glancing, seeing what this 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 elf is uh, up to, um, as I just kind of make small talk about like oh you see this now this may look like an ordinary candlestick but did you know that this candlestick <laughs> is actually very nice <laughs> it's not a great not oh, a great <laughs> really that's really cool yes oh um, actually came from uh, came from a uh, came from a ruling family uh, back in deep wells like early feudal history actually quite 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 impressive for this to pop up there's really only uh only only 10 of these that that people are even aware exist anymore and uh oh wow yeah i just found it laying around Nessa, uh, what are you yeah. what are you doing while gino tries to distract this kid i <laughs> oh i i want him to leave the boy alone i want to eat the boy um i kind of want to like i get i like kind of i don't want to approach them but i kind of just want to look casual like i'm not wanting to eat the boy like i'm i'm trying to blend in a little bit now that there's a witness <laughs> do okay. i know ari by the way do you know ari um yeah you've been okay. around enough to know like ari's the stable boy but you probably haven't ventured to the stable very often you don't really need a horse so true uh, yeah all right but yeah well, you, you would know, know that you would know that that ari's the name of the stable boy boy Right. I'm gonna I'm I, I'm just gonna wait for now. I'm like I, I don't uh <laughs> yeah. um go ahead and give me a performance check. Okay. Ah, Gina, performance. While you're continuing to look around um and find different objects for Ari to, to kind of uh bask in the glory of, I guess. Um you find a particular um like map and you, you open it up to him and you watch as his eyes just light up uh, and you get a D six inspiration. Okay. Uh, I rolled a two. Two. So like you do, you go to do like the casual, like lean up against the, the like the post and you miss the post and you fall into the head. Yeah. Uh, and as you're getting up, you feel something kind of hard in the, uh, in the hay, and you reach in and you pull out a uh, healing potion. A healing potion? Yes. Now, which horse dropped this? Hey. Yeah, that's the real I question. Have yeah. one. All right, great. I have a healing potion. Oh my uh, god! You, Gino, you do see like Nessa trying to like like up against the side and just. <laughs> hey, there, stranger. How a uh, rough night? 
Uh, yeah, a, a bit of one. Um, you wouldn't happen to, uh, you wouldn't happen to have, I know I'm holding a healing potion, but I, I, you wouldn't happen to have anything for uh, a bit of a headache, would you? Oh, yeah. A bit I of a headache, I, a little bit I, of a memory problem. I think I've got a thing or two around here. Uh, sort of slapped yeah, together. I mean, you look mystical. Oh, you look mystical. Yeah, I sort of. You look mythical. You have a haunted wagon. Sorry, go on. <laughs> I dabble in home remedies. It's not a problem. Um, uh, reach into a little uh, kind of uh, pouch I've got on my hip. It's uh, it's actually fastened from like a horn, but it's got like a leather uh, kind of top to it. Pop that out and kind of like fish around um, for uh, just like a little, a little. Uh, a little like kind of poultice style uh, concoction. Okay. Slap together. Great. Yeah, you can you can do that relatively easy. Easily, you've done it before many a time. You know, hangover cures stuff like that. Yeah. Can I? Uh, oh, thank you so much. I I really appreciate it. I'm gonna yeah, no take problem. it and can I put it in my healing potion? Shake it up and slug it. Yeah, sure. Right. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Um, Gino, is that something she's supposed to eat? Yeah, no, that's uh, that's that's a lot of it's a lot of grass kind of held together with mud. You're supposed to put on your on your on your head. Uh, it's all right. I'll eat anything. It's a bit of a all right. Well, that's okay. I love it yeah, here. I mean, as you as you drink this concoction that you've now brewed yourself, it's very gritty and grimy, and like you, you got to chew a little. Uh, it, it, it's kind of yeah, um, to get through some of the grass, but. Um, you managed to get through it. Uh, you, you get 2d4 plus two points of healing. Oh, do, do I even know I'm a... I mean, you're at full, so it's not going to matter. But you, 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 you feel like the invigoration of a of you know what a typical healing potion would do. Um, mm -hmm. But other than that, like the hunger is still there. The hunger is still there. And it, it's... I, sorry, out of character. Um, for Vampire Spawn, are they, they allowed to do healing potions? Or is it only yeah. for healing? No, oh, you, can, you, healing can potion. Yeah, you can do ah, it. Okay, great. Well, I slugged my one healing potion. Uh, fuck, I'm hungry. Shit. Well, well, it didn't kill you, so that's a good sign. God, I wish it would faster, though. This fucking hunger is driving me nuts. It's driving me absolutely insane. Oh, well, why don't I, you head over to uh, to, to, the, to the tavern? There's a... Uh, got great food over there. Uh, yeah, yeah, you think so. It's just... It, I, I just... I, look, I don't know you very well, but... I, I've I've had the Neither do I. F fair point. Um, I I uh, I've had the weirdest fucking day, and I I the food is tasting weird, and my head hurts, and I can't remember where I f live. And God, that uh, look like uh, uh, is Ari like right there, like in the the threesome? Yeah. Um. Wouldn't word it like that, but yeah, I don't. Yeah. Ari is, Ari is there. <laughs> Sorry, not this is in the conversation. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't talked Ari, about that. Ari is within yeah. the premises of the conversation. Yes. <laughs> um. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna look at him, just real deliciously, and be like, "Why don't you, why don't you run along now, um, Ari? Why don't you run, why don't you run along now?" Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And he, he like turns around and like runs out of the, the stables. Um, as he leaves, you do pick up a second smell that was kind of being masked by the first and it's coming from Gina from this little blue trollkin marabou figure. Well, uh, what did you say your name was again? Beano. <clears throat> Beano. And yours. Yes. Nessa. That's one thing I know for sure. It's definitely Nessa. So, uh... Sounds like you've been through a... <clears throat> if you don't mind me saying, it sounds like you've been through a bit of a traumatic experience. Is That's very possible, Gino. You, know. you, uh... You're not from around here, are you? Well, I'm from everywhere. I wouldn't, uh... I know Deepwell probably better than most places. Uh, but no no family connections here, no nothing like that. 
Oh, you know, I've got a, uh, I've got an uncle who lives in town, so I'm here visiting. Oh, you're you're visiting an uncle. All right. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, and when he's ex when's he expecting you? Well, now that you mention it, uh, right about right about now. Uh, well, why don't, you, why don't you just? I mean, you know, it's it's the night is young. Why don't you stay for a drink, Gino? Oh, I couldn't possibly. It's against my religion. Uh, <clears throat> well, to drink. Uh, well, I hope you find some. I hope you find the help you're looking for. Um, I, I think I might have, and then I'm gonna attack him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I give in. I the hunger stupid. Yeah, you very quickly go ahead and roll. Go ahead and roll an attack roll. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do. Hopefully it hits. I mean, it doesn't. I really. Yeah. I PvP, really PvP let's do Vorpal. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh. <laughs> all right. It's a six plus three is nine. <laughs> nine. So as you go in to kind of chomp down on. Uh, Chomp oh, down on teeth. the neck and exposed shoulder of Gino. He kind of like jerks his shoulder up really quick, and you manage to get a part of of the armor and clothing that he's wearing. It doesn't quite sink in. Uh, Gino, is there anything you'd like to do? Uh, yeah, I'm going to. Uh... <sighs> yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much uh, immediately like on reflex going to. Uh kind of draw my rapier and uh, stri strike back, basically. Okay. Uh, just, ki just kind of put, like, use it to, like, create, like, a little bit of distance and yeah. Yeah. Just try to, some, yeah. Some, some style, yeah. 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 <laughs> Come at me, bro. I'm you gonna know, eat you. Hey, guys, the best part about being a DM, your players can kill each other. I know, exactly. <laughs> Who needs to a party pill? Yeah. Do it themselves. No. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh. Uh, that is a 13. Does a 13 hit you? Uh, 13 does hit. It matches armor class exactly. Oof. Go ahead and roll your damage. It was almost ah! a six. That, was, really that was that was almost that was almost very bad. So that's <laughs> so that's only six damage. Uh, only six damage. Only six damage. So as he stabs cool. into you and he gets like right in in your shoulder, you feel like yeah. blood come out, and immediately you're you're like you're drawn to it. Oh, yeah, cool. it, yeah. Not like it. it it doesn't smell as good as Gino's does or as Ari's does, but like there's like, it's something it it's like, it's like maybe like microwave TV dinner smell. It's good enough for government work. I'm going to, I'm going to lick it. All right. As <laughs> you, you like, you dab your, you dab your shoulder really quick and you like, it doesn't quite cure your hunger the way you thought it would. Um, but it seems to like to to have calmed you down a little. Oh, kind of kind of like catnip for for cats. cats. Yeah, I, I forgot oh. what catnip was for for a second. <laughs> oh, okay. you know what? I think I figured it out. I need your blood, and I need it now. And I'm gonna try to do it again. <laughs> yeah, like just full attack biting. <laughs> Gino, are you going to let her or are you going oh. to? No, okay. <laughs> I didn't think so. That's a go ahead and roll an attack. All right, great. Oh. Oh, ouch. Ouch. So as you, as you go to it's it's attack, uh, Gino definitely steps away and kind of lets you fly past him and you go smack, smacking into one of the poles. Uh, and knocking yourself out cold. Awesome. <laughs> and I'm out. <sighs> well, I think I know what's going on here. <clears throat> I'm just going to uh, kind of 
uh, wipe the wipe my blade off on. Uh, actually, no, I, I'll pull a little cloth out of my out of my uh, waistband and wipe my blade off real quick. Put it away. Um, just kind of just kind of tug on my ears a little bit. Think about uh, the whole interaction. It's fairly safe to say that I can deduce what's going on. Yeah. Um, for the most part, uh, if you give me a medicine check, I can tell you for sure. All right. I don't have my proficiency in medicine yet, but I'm not bad at it. <laughs> but I might just be. <laughs> <laughs> um, going through and looking at the, you know, you, you kind of flip her over onto her back and look over and make sure the, the wound is all right a little bit. Uh, your culture has a little bit more experience than most with these types of creatures, but as you get to her neck region, you pull back, you do see two bite marks in her in her neck. Mm. Which you would, you know, as assume to be possible vampire or vampire spawn bites. Well, that makes sense. Or a really um, big bad. How's the how's the vampire population around Deepwell? I know they I know they're around to the north. Do they fare uh, very well down here? You're not quite sure. Uh, you've heard stories of them up, up and up north. You're not sure if there's any. There have been possible whispers that there are some in Deepwell, but it's more of like old wives' tales than actual fact. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Does Does she look like she's got severe wounds at all? Or does she look like she'll be fine? I mean, with a night's rest, she should be fine. Um, the wound you gave her, while dangerous, is still... I mean, it's it's it was a clean... It was a clean uh, hit, so it's not anything to, to worry about. Um, do I know whether or not Beast Blood works fine for vampires? Re Animal blood, that sort of thing. Um... You're not quite sure. Okay. I'd say with, with the five, yeah, you've, you're not quite sure. It, it kind of goes both ways. Six, thank you. Six, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll have you know. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm going to... Does this look like anybody saw anything going on here or no? Uh, if you want to give me a perception check. All right. <laughs> How's a nine do you? Um, nine gives you that Ari was probably the only person here. You're not, you didn't hear any or see anybody else in the stable when you came in. Okay. And there's nobody there currently. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to bind her hands and feet real quick. Okay. And set her up in the back of the wagon. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, give me a sleight of hand really quick for the knots. All right. 11. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, <laughs> yeah. Why can't we go? Yeah, it's... Uh, uh. Yeah. You did, a, you did a pretty decent job at it. There's technically a knot there. All right. There's, Knocked there's my head knot. against the door, Dan. Yeah. All right. I'm going <laughs> to gently set her in the wagon uh, as gently as I can manage to move this person that's larger than I am. Yeah. So when you go to pick up, uh, when you go to pick up this woman, you, you scoop down, lift up. She's a lot lighter than you thought she'd be. It's, and huh. it's not an insult. She has a very slight frame to begin with, but she like, she's not as heavy as you thought. Huh. And, uh, oddly less sloshy. All right. Yeah, I'm going to take her into the wagon. Um, find some sort of cushion, pillow, blanket sort of thing mm -hmm. and set her down there. Uh, and then kind of hop off, close the door and uh, head to the uh, head to the bar. Okay. 
Yeah, so you walk in, uh, there's a ton of people in the bar, you know, drinking, eating dinner. Uh, it is right around dinner time. Um, the, you see Lagatha behind the behind the bar. I throw the door open, shout, Lagatha, and activate my cloak <laughs> billowing. You um, you watch as, as Lagatha turns and like her face gets a little flush and she's like, Oh, Gino. How you doing? It's been a while. Can't complain. Can't complain. Yeah, it's, you know, life takes you so many places. But uh, I always try to find my way back to Deepwell and have some more of your delicious cooking, Lagatha. Oh, so, thank you. Thank you. Flatter. Think, no, it's not flatter if I'm telling the truth. Now, uh, how, are, how, are, how are things going with you lately? Uh, we're good. Uh, business is a little slow. It's still spring. Not a, not a lot of travelers yet. Um, but other than that, we're, we're good. We're good. Um, heading back out there, are you? Oh yeah. I'm heading back out in the morning. Just wanted to see how, you know, just want to see how my favorite cook was doing. Now, have there, have there been any, I've heard some interesting rumors, uh, lately. Uh, I wanted to pick your brain about it. See if. Well, maybe there's any way I could help out. Um, you hear anything about, uh, you know, about vampires around here lately? She like looks you up and down. No. Um, I mean, there's the old wives tales, but other than that, I mean, most people know they're up north in the mountains. Okay, good, good. I just heard somebody rambling about them a couple days ago. Wasn't sure if I should pay it any mind or not. Thought I would check in with a more reliable source of information. Uh, sure would be a shame if they wound up around here, yes? Or You going to be staying the night here or are you, you staying in your cart for the night? Oh, probably the cart. All right. You know, I, if I can make you some food, I, I will. And she starts running to the back and preparing you a, a nice cooked meal. You know, look over at whoever's uh, next to me at the at the bar. Just like a, she knows me well. <laughs> uh, what's activity like uh, in here right now? Is it a? Uh, there are so there, there are a few people playing cards in the back. Um, there are there's also um, a bard that looks like he's getting ready to start playing some music uh, in front of the hearth. Um, and then there are also two humans, a little bit taller. Well, one probably about five and a half to six feet tall. The other about a little bit taller than you. Um, younger, like, kid looking, uh, that are sitting there looking at a map or a paper of some sort. I'm going to try and pick up uh, bits of their conversation. Sure, give me a perception check. Oh, God, I was about to say persuasion. <laughs> you want to tell me about that map, kid? Uh, 17. <laughs> yeah, um, so you hear um, you, you hear the bits and pieces of the conversation. The older one going, I, I know, Mort, um, we, have to, we have to go in and we have to ask, ask the council in order to get some help with the wolves. Um, you know, dad gave us his money. Hopefully it'll help bribe some people. I, I don't know if that's, that's going to be the case, but we need to find some people to come back and uh, to come back and, and help us with, with, with our, our, our wolves, uh, with this wolf problem that we're having. Um, you know, dad's counting on us. The whole town's counting us on us. Um, and the boys just sitting there like shaking his head. I'm going to, gonna go ahead and uh make my way over there she's kind of casually are they are they seated or standing what's the they're, they're seated they're at a table they have dinner in front of them and mm. the older one has ale it looks like the the younger one has milk i'm gonna go <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and slide in uh, just uh <gasps> so is this seat taken after i've taken it uh <laughs> so i'm yeah, no, yeah, no. Uh, Coming to my attention, uh, are you having some, some troubles around here? Is what I'm understanding. 
not not here per se. Uh, we 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 come from Welton, which is uh, and you would know Welton's maybe about a two and a half to three day ride uh, east. Oh uh, yes, yes, east down the main trade road. Um, but, yeah, we're we're having some wolf problems. Uh, you know, some of our farmers and uh, our sheepfold are are being attacked by wolves. Hmm, that does sound rough. Well, you know, I was actually planning on heading over there uh, tomorrow. I could take a look at that if you don't mind. Yeah, I mean, we 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 were coming here to look for for people to uh, to 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 come help anyway. So I, I guess if are, are you by yourself? For the moment, but I've also got transportation. If there's anybody else you want to go with you, or if there's anybody else you would like to to go, um, I could take them with me in the morning if you prefer. Uh, yeah, sure. We're actually going to um, finish the last little bit of the trek into the city tonight and see if there's anybody. Um, but we'll stop here on the way back. If you wouldn't mind giving us a ride and giving us some, some aid if we can't find anyone. Yeah, absolutely. How... <clears throat> I would be ashamed of myself if I did not help where it was required. Good, good to know. Um, <laughs> what would you say your name was? Gino Zabani. At your uh, service. You, you watch as like he points, he points to the boat, the the to the boy. Mort, make sure you write down his name, and you watch as Mort pulls out a little like inkwell and writes right. down. Gino Zabani. Well, I, I guess we'll we'll catch you in the morning. We're gonna finish up eating and, and then head out. And, or uh, probably not the morning. Probably about midday tomorrow. Excellent. Well, I'll be out by the stables, so I can wait a couple hours for you if uh, if that's what we need. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll be around. We'll come. We'll come looking for you. Excellent. All right. Finish, else? finish up your milk, Mort. We gotta go. <laughs> Mort. All right. I want the older one to be named Rick so bad, because then it's Rick and Mort. <laughs> oh no, Rick's just somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm I'm fad by the way. Oh yes, nice to meet you. I was like, yeah, I'm just I, gonna I, introduce the younger one and leave the <laughs> older one a mystery, guys. All right, yeah, Thad, Thad and Mort. Got Thad it. And Mort. What a lovely pair of names. Well. I'll see you fine fellows tomorrow. Sounds good. And they start to pack up their things. They kind of shake your hand and uh, they head out of Lagatha's lounge and toward Deepwell. Anything else perking my interest as I wait for my food? Um, uh, it, it, is around the, it is around that time that Lagatha comes with your food. And she's, okay. sorry, sorry about their wait. Um, oh, know, no wait at all. Patrons and, you know. But don't worry, you got the prime cuts as always. Believe me, it's well worth the wait. Gonna go ahead and uh, dig in. Awesome, yeah, it's super delicious food. Um, some nice roast duck uh, with a little bit of seasoned mashed potatoes and, and some asparagus. Nice. Um, while you're eating, you know, the bard starts playing a little bit. Um, it's not. Let's see how good he is. Well, apparently he's really good. Um, Glad are you really one of the better bards that you've seen singing here? Uh, you know, he, he kind of does a little bit of panache at the end where, you know, he does a little solo with his lute. Um, but, you know, other than that, there's not much activity going on. Hmm. Uh, okay. Nessa, go ahead and do me a favor and roll your hit die for me and add your constitution modifier. Ooh, my head's While Gino is eating and hanging out and talking to G uh, Thad and, and Mort, you have Perfect. had the opportunity to acquire a semi-short rest. Great. All right, cool. Let me see here. Sorry, my whole page just went sizzle pop. Okay, so short rest. One D8. One whole D8 all to myself. Nice, it's six points. Hey, all that right. recovers all of it. Yep, <laughs> perfect. Um, I got hit and then I got better. Because I rolled a one. I could one-shot you probably. Uh, probably could. 
Yeah. I mean, a lot of things could one shot me right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pretty much anything. So as you're, you know, as you kind of wake up, your your hands and your feet are bound. And you're, you're you're laying in this cart. It's a little uncomfortable, but where your head was, there's you know there's a nice pillow, so at least there's some comfort. Um, oh. But you know, you do have your your hands and, and feet bound. And the last thing you remember was diving headlong at uh, diving headlong at Gino. Gino. Well. Bino. 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 <laughs> Bino. Well, that. Didn't go well, and I, I kind of want to see if I can break out of the... Uh, yeah, go ahead out. and um, give me an athletics or acrobatics, something of that nature to see sleight of hand even. See if you can Great. knots out. Um, all of those are pretty terrible skills on my sheet, but the least bad one is acrobatics. So acrobatics it shall be. And that's a four. Wow. Guess who's staying tied up? It's me. Um, so yeah, you stayed tied up. Um, you're while you're tied up, you hear from inside the stables some shoveling. Oh, Ari. Um, all right. Is is there? I'm I'm just like full hunger brain now, so the child will be mine. Is there a way that I can wiggle, like get out of the general so the cart, area? Uh, the cart the is cart kind of like an enclosed brain. home where like the back half of it is like the truck bed that has all of um, Bino's knickknacks and trade goods. And then like the front half of it is like a nice little sleeping compartment. They're both covered on the top, but like the back is open, so like Gino or Bino can hop down and run to the back and grab some stuff and sell it, and then run back to the front and drive. Um, but at night, you're pretty closed in. There is a door, maybe about like a couple feet from your head. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I, can I see if there's like a like an edge or like a knife or something that I can like at least get my hands free so I can. I, get, um, I, I don't really realize that the fangs are here yet, so. <laughs> yeah, um, Gino, I'm guessing you would have kept a knife or, like, something in your the main compartment of your home for, like, cooking and stuff. Probably. She can get to the kitchen. Wiggle, All right. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. So you, wiggle like three, you wiggle, like, a half foot, um, and you see, like, on the counter above you um, a knife. You reach up, grab the knife. Uh, uh, I, I do the... I do the thing where you like can't hold the knife, so you just kind of like put it on the floor and like run it against the blade. Okay. And yeah, we all know how to right. do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the so thing you, okay, that makes you know, it, and then like your your hands are free, and you're like, oh yeah, grab the knife. Ha! Give your, your uh, right. <laughs> Grab the knife. Do my feet. Keep the knife. Run. Go. Grab the child. Eat the child. I want to eat the child. So I'm I'm gonna get out of the cart and. Head okay. towards the stable. So you open the door and the door swings out and you hop down and you close the door behind you. Um, and the smell is luring you back toward the front of the stables by where you initially came in. Um, and you go down a few stalls and the boy is there. Um, Gino, can I, about can I sneak up on him? Go ahead and give me a stall check. I want it, uh, I wanted to be quick and painless. He's Gino, a nice kid. About, about this time, you're nice, full starting to walk out I mean yeah I'm heading back to the to the cart <laughs> it's a seven it's a yeah, seven year old right old, there I got a big old mind there. actually that is a really bad name Jesus wow. <laughs> um, so so luckily for you <gasps> man behind the screen rolled a big old no on his <gasps> Brand new dice. So the as you sneak one. up and turn the corner, the boy is still Ari is sitting there shoveling, you know, shit and hay into the next stall. And I don't know why he would do that, but that's what he decided to do. Um, and he doesn't hear you coming up from behind. Gino, you turn the corner as you watch Nessa slinking into one of the stalls. 
God damn it. All right. Uh, eat the child. I'm going to, from my waist. Uh, so I see her going to the stalls. I can't see into the stall from here. No, you can't see. Like, you're at the front of it, and she's a few stalls in. I'm going to, from my from my waist, like, fling uh, fling a dagger to thud into the side of the side of the stall. Okay, go ahead and make, make an attack roll for me. Do I break the, do I break the stall's AC? Man, if I got a 20, I was going to be so upset. <laughs> it, goes, uh, it goes through like the stall. That's the thing? NASA. Yeah. <laughs> you kill, you kill uh, your you horse. Kill NASA. <laughs> you kill the horse. Yeah. You kill the, um, <laughs> so you, you kill the, horse the dagger. It goes one. thudding into the side and gives that like reverberation. Um, just in time for Ari to turn around, see Nessa behind him and let up. Oh, God. As Nessa, you get an opportunity to bite down into uh, I'm bite him. Bite down into Ari. I'm also I'm bite him. It. I'm gonna bite him real good. All right. Let's see. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? What have I done? Bad, 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 bad. Seven. Seven again. Seven. Guess who's um, the shittiest vampire? It's me. <laughs> I can't bite anybody. Um, I have only tried to bite people. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so as you go to bite, he ducks underneath you and runs out into the main portion, like the main hall of the stable, um, turns, sees you, Bino, Gino, and comes <laughs> running toward you. Nessa, at this point, you've pivoted, turned on your heels, and you're running at him as well. Yeah. Um, I'm just screaming, "Be now!" And I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna bite whoever's closest to me. Just yeah, oh. as 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 Ari comes, just gonna be like, "Go somewhere, go somewhere crowded. Go to go to Lagathus." <laughs> okay, and he, he like just runs past you. Um, yeah. So as you're running out, go ahead and make a bite at Gino. Also, dodge action. You know, whatever his name is. Can you roll something? <laughs> for it? Thank you. Nineteen. <laughs> you die. Twenty-one. And, like, Gino, while you're distracted telling Ari, like, hey, go to Lagathus, go to Lagathus, you turn around and you're like face to face staring up at Nessa, who's just like, hi. Ah, uh, go ahead. Uh, and you bite Nessa. Go ahead and roll your damage for me. <laughs> okay, lovely, lovely. Okay, and that is two damage. two damage. How's that feel? So you take two damage as she sinks into like your shoulder neck area. And it's not just for you, at least Nessa, it's not just like a bite you, some of his blood begins to drip down the back of your throat. And like you do a quick swallow and you're just like, Oh yeah. Oh, that was yeah. <laughs> Fuck. That's the thing I needed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drink as much as possible. Okay. I mean, I'm going to like, <laughs> so yeah you do, you do a quick push gino and like immediately kind of detach her from you know doing any more harm to you but you do feel like you know gino on your end like this is like you feel like some of the blood is being drank from you um um and yeah i'm gonna so as this as this happens uh it starts the, the wound will start kind of like closing itself. Uh, and it's going to be like, all right, all right. You get that, you get that out of your system. You're delicious. You yeah. Thank you. If I had a, if I had a copper <laughs> look, why are you delicious? Genetics. Look, can I have some more? You're going to have to get it. Mm. We'll talk about it later. You're going to have to get out of here. All right. You can't. Uh, you can't live like this around these people, especially, especially if you're going to have this poor self-control. I'm just going to tell you that right here. I, I mean, I guess I have been a little out of control just, just now. A just a Wait, little. Wait, but live... <laughs> I get. I guess live the blood drinking life, but why? Why am I drinking blood? That's the question here. 
I uh take my little vanity mirror out of my out of my chest pocket. Uh huh. <laughs> just it just it just hand it over just hand it over to her. Just say like, take a look at your neck. I don't have a reflection. I don't. I don't. I don't have. I don't have a reflection. Yeah, you Bino. just see clothes. You just see clothes. Beano, yeah. what the fuck, Beano? Hey, I didn't do this to you. I don't know who did, but uh... is, this a, is this a trick mirror? Like what? I like. I like. What are you even? Like you're like you're a, a, a magician traveler guy. Point, point, point the mirror at anything else. Okay, and I do. I do. <laughs> and yeah, it's there. Pick, like you, you. Everything that you see, like as you're like pointing it, like at different things and looking, is there. I. I don't understand. Pretty much every symptom is lining up with you being, uh, having been bitten by a vampire and uh, turned into one of their spawn. So. <laughs> bitten by a vampire? They're in the thing as vampires. I mean, like, there's weirdos up in the mountain, but like, <laughs> that's, that's kids stuff, man. That's, there aren't. No, the kid stuff was that person he almost just attacked. So he um, smells really good. Yeah, Gino. you can't you can't say vampires are ridiculous one second and then immediately turn around to that kid smells delicious. I can tell you, I can tell you right there. If you're not connecting two and two, I can't do a lot to help you. I don't know. It's been a hard day. From behind her, as you're talking to her, looking down the main corridor of the stable. Gino, you swear, like you blink for a second and there's nothing there. And then you blink again and kind of do a double take. And there's just this shadow, maybe about 15, 20 feet away, hovering off the ground. Um, this like cloaked, almost like a Dementor looking creature. Uh, just dark energy. Uh, and you hear a voice. Good. She will do well. And it starts moving closer to Nessa. Nessa, you do hear the voice from behind you. I turn <clears throat> around. <laughs> you, uh, you good at doing anything other than biting? We'll find out. And I'm, I'm gonna, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> We'll find yeah. out, I guess. Yeah, Whatever we'll that. find out. If, <laughs> uh, so I was like, I, I panicked. I no, don't have any good. weapons. <laughs> um, Solo, can you do the alleyway, alleyway for us, please? Will do. Thank you. Combat. First combat. <laughs> so the so the way that the background noise came in, it sounded like when the pilot comes in over the intercom on your flight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're currently uh, we're thank you guys. above the ground. Uh, we're currently in a uh, landing uh, formation. I, well, not formation. What is it? Oh my gosh! Pattern. Landing. Pattern. <laughs> Holding pattern. That's what it is. You could have. You could have said anything. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, could have said anything. Sure. Would have believed you. Would have believed you. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> did, you guys, did you guys not go to pilot school? Neither did I. I have no education. Uh, where's everybody at? <laughs> Um, so they are going to be about, oh God, um, where's my cursor right about there. Oh no, I'm still great. Red change to blue fad. All right. We're good. <laughs> Daddy. Yes. Um, and then the creature is going to be inside of there, but we can wait because some other things will happen. Um, so 25 to 20, which is probably not going to happen, but just in case. No one. Cool. Uh, 15 to 20. Oh, you wanted me to roll initiative? Oh, sorry. We haven't rolled yet. Yeah. <laughs> Please, guys. <laughs> oh, all right. Cool. Hey. There we go. Um, hey, there it is. 23. Right. 23. Uh, I'm, glad I got, I'm glad I got the, I'm glad I got the 20 on a non-attack. Let's see. There you go. Yeah. You'll go first, though. And then, Ness, what'd you get? Uh, I got a, I got an 11, but that's a 13. With my an machine. 11, so for a 13. So then the shadow is going to go next, and then you, Nessa. Yeah. Um, 
Awesome. Um, so you watch as this thing is starting to come closer to you guys, maybe about 10, 15 feet away at this point. Uh, Gino, it's your turn. Its hand is kind of outstretched toward Nessa as it's running, you know, as, as it's floating toward it. Uh, well, the first thing I do is recover uh, one HP thanks to my Trollkin regeneration. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then so things, the thing's pretty close. Um, I'm going to position myself in front of Nessa. H how close is it to Nessa? About 15 feet away. 15 feet? Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm just going to brush by her then and... Uh, I'm I'm actually going to yes yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna step in front of her and uh, hold an attack for if it approaches basically. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna say. So uh, you hang around stables often? <laughs> uh. <laughs> not to, to you. To not shadow. not to you. To the shadow. Oh, I was gonna say. I was like, I don't know. Just kind of. All right. No. Uh, and then it's going to close the distance uh, and pretty much be right on top of you, Gino. Um, right there. And then it's going to, um, it's going to swipe out at you with its hand for a six. So six Mish nudging you in its rush to kind of get to Nessa, it just swipes over you, doesn't connect, um, and it's just kind of... Bruh. And then I want to unleash... Like, like as he does that, I want to then unleash, like, the, the held attack and just kind of, like, dodge to the side and try to, like, slide the rapier, like, up into where I would assume the ribcage would be if this guy's got a ribcage. Yeah, please do. Uh, yeah. Uh, that is a 17 to hit. A 17 will hit. All right. And we're looking at 11 damage. 11 damage. Ooh. So as you stab in, you watch as it kind of twitches and recoils a little. Um, but, like, there's nothing really there. You thought that the attack was a pretty hard hit and hit, but it didn't seem to do a whole lot of damage. Hmm. So it, it's not that I didn't... It, it, it's not like an ethereal thing where it feels like I made contact with nothing. It just feels... If like a combination of the two, like you hit something ethereal, but like it did damage, but not as much as you thought. Great. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's my. That's all I can Nessa, do. your turn. Alrighty. Well, I also think I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna cast a spell. Um, I think I would like to try Ray of Sickness. Ray of Sickness. Uh, yeah, Ray of Sickness. All right, great. So, please step out from. Please, please don't leave me between you and it. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll get you. It's all right. I'll, I'll come and get you. Um, no, don't get me. Don't get you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Like, and it is a sphere, isn't it? Uh, sorry, this is the first time I've ever done a spell. All right, let's see. Uh, it is an eighteen to hit. And 18 does hit. You go ahead and roll your damage, please. Great. Amazing. 2d6. Lati. 2d8. Sorry, excuse me. Ooh, nice. 2d8, right? Wow. <laughs> Dang. Ba boom. Um, what kind of damage is it? Uh, it is. I hope it's not necrotic. I, I'm really hoping it's not necrotic. It's poison damage. It's, okay. Wow, it's poison damage. Wow, okay. Um, so as you grab onto it and release this this ray, on, is it a melee attack or is it a ranged attack? I believe it's, it's a ranged a, attack. It's a ray, oh. isn't it? Ray oh. of sickness? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Rays are at disadvantage. Oh, okay. Here, let me. All right. Yeah, it's still hit. Yeah, oh, it's still damage, hit. Damage, damage still counts. We're good. Thank um, you. I don't think I'll be able to do it again. But as you hit it, you watch it splash over and it just completely eviscerates 
this thing, like almost evapor evaporating it entirely. And you watch as it like floats around, just Rah! Oh, oh boy. Uh, um, all, uh, uh, all right. And, uh, <laughs> is he, is he dead yeah. dead? He's gone. He's gone, gone. Yeah. Eviscerate, uh, if, if, if eviscerates generally not something you come back from. I, I, didn't, I didn't know if it was going to um, be one of those like one point like. Eh, as like. you guys are standing there and reveling in your new first victory, though, you watch as some of the shadows begin to pull back up out of the ground, and you see hands start to emerge. As bodies from underneath the stables start to come up. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. How, are there, how are there this many dead people under this stable? Um, uh, do you really, are you not putting two and two together yet? I mean, I, I get it now. I totally, I'm understanding it because there's spooky stuff happening. I'll, I'll do anything as long as the dead stop rising. Both of them are after you, Dodge, got, both Dodge, of them are after you, Nessa, in initiative. <laughs> um, their turn is going to be to completely come out um, of the ground and kind of just stand there. Um, Master God above us, can you? Yep, there we go. There he is. Beautiful. Oh. As the these two un undead looking creatures start to um, make their way toward you. You guys are a little bit back, so you have room to maneuver. They're not going to get attacks of opportunity on y'all, but... Um, nice. Yeah. So, uh, Gino, you're up. What would you like to do? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I, I, yeah, the, the one the, the one with the green dot on it? That, that guy that guy's gonna get... That, that guy's gonna get dead. Uh, that guy's gonna get dead. That's my general plan there. He's gonna catch the dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ooh. Uh, does, does a twenty-two hit on this zombie? Nah. <laughs> okay. No, um. Yeah. So as you stab into it, go ahead and roll your damage. Uh, that's nine damage. Nine damage. Yeah. And just like sh into its face. It just. <laughs> Bring it down. Yeah, you look like you hurt, hurt it pretty good, more than more so than you did the uh, floating uh, shadow-looking creature. Great. Um, cool. Uh, any anything else with your turn bonus action? Uh, I don't have any applicable bonus actions yet. Oh, I do also heal another hit point at the start of this turn. Nice. Awesome. And uh, Nessa, your turn. Um. How how are these boys smelling as far as um, the biting goes? Is, are they smelling good or are they smelling like don't eat, eat these? They're smelling like don't eat these. Um, okay. I mean, with what you did to Gino, you would imagine that like you could still hurt them. Right. If you were to bite them, but you're not going to get any sustenance from them. I'm not going to like suck anything out of them. No. Um, great. Okay. Um May I try? Oh, that's a ranged one. <laughs> um, you're out of you're out of melee range. You're not in melee range with them. Oh, perfect. Then I would like to try blood scourge. Ooh. Um, mm, blood scourge. On which one, the green dot or the red dot? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the red dot. I'm gonna we're gonna each take a zombie. <laughs> See who? All I'll right. race you. Cool. I'll race you to the death. <laughs> Uh, cool. What do I gotta do for um, Blood Scourge? Okay, so uh, on a hit, the target must take one d6 force damage, and so it's not a save. It's a spell attack. Yeah, it's a spell attack. Okay. Um. So there you go. Oof. Uh, that's that. Um. So that is a nine to hit. A nine to hit. Uh, unfortunately, as you blast into it, like you, you shoot it out and it blasts across it, um, nothing, you know, nothing really seems to happen to it. It doesn't really have an effect. Um, looks like it's unharmed. Dang it. For the record, Blood Scourge is a nice little, like, maybe golf ball sized thing of, like, coalesced blood that comes out of like Ew. almost like a spider-man sling uh out of your like wrist and hand that shoots out at the, at the thing um 
Oh, and really quick, for those of you who do not know what Blood Scourge is, because it is not technically a 5th edition, I mean, it is a 5th edition, but 5th edition spell. Uh, it is from our good friends over at the uh, Underground Oracle. Who is have... this one of the spells they made? Yeah, that's yeah. one of the spells they made. Nice. Um, it's really cool. But yeah, so anything is a bonus action. Um, you can I... cast bonus action spells as a bonus action if you use a cantrip for an action. Right. Okay, great. Um, I only have two spell slots, though. So actually, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna draw my dagger and get and stab him because he's right in front of me. Unfortunately, I can't do that because you used your action for a spell. You were to action. I spell, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. You're learning. All right. Uh, it's all about being a spellcaster. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I don't know how to spellcaster. Um, but I can't do another cantrip, right? I can only do another um, spell. If you have a bonus action cantrip, you can, or a bonus action leveled spell. Basically, I allow uh, one action cantrip, one bonus action cantrip, or an action cantrip, bonus action spell, or an action spell, bonus action cantrip. Does she See? have any bonus? Oh, she does. I don't think I have. Do I have one? You have a bonus action. Your bite is a bonus action, apparently. Oh, great. Then I'm a, I'm a bite a motherfucker. Yeah, I'll allow it. I mean, considering it's not technically a melee weapon attack i would allow you to bite as a bonus action great i'm bite him yeah go ahead roll the attack see if you can bite all him. right let's see Ooh, it's not looking great it's a 14. no it's a, a sorry it's a 12. <laughs> excuse me a 12 will hit so go oh, ahead and yeah it. and this is on the red one correct yes sir all right, so that is just one little D6. Just one little old D6 for me. Oh. Hmm. The worst vampire. I can't bite anyone. What do we got for total damage? Uh, uh, that is just uh, seven. Seven? Seven damage. Yeah, one D6 plus seven. Oh, sorry, two. I'm sorry. I'm like, <laughs> oh I don't know what's happening. I'm bad. All right. We're learning, I'm guys. I'm sorry. I got, I'm very confused about uh, spells. I'm so sorry, three, everyone. Three points of damage. Cool. Um, I'm not looking good at D&D &D normally. Awesome. So um, the red one will move up onto, uh, or up at Nessa, and then the green one will move at uh, Gino. The, uh, the red one will make a bite attack at you, Nessa. Mm -hmm. And that would be a 19 to hit. That'll, that'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Um, for uh, seven points of damage. Ouchies. And then the other one is going to attempt to claw attack you, Gino. Uh, and that's going to be a uh, 11. Does not hit. 11 does not hit. So you manage again to just, this thing is coming at you and swiping at you. You manage to duck right underneath it. I forgot uh, to mention, I do have a buckler on my non-sword hand. Oh, so it's, well, it scrapes against the buckler. Yeah. Dope. Uh, back to the top, we got Gino. Um, there's, are they both within five feet of me or just the one that I've been yeah, fighting? Yeah, they're both. They're both within five feet of you, yeah. Okay, I see that one, like, sinking its teeth into her, and I'm gonna just kind of uh, lunge my rapier out that way instead uh, awesome. and go after the red one. Um, oh, man. Uh, that's a 10. A 10? Yeah, you stab awesome. out, and you were kind of aiming for the neck, and it just goes sliding right past it. Uh, you don't seem to hit it. All right. Yeah, that's uh, that's my turn. Uh, do you heal as well? Uh, I already healed back to max. Nope. Uh, Nessa, your turn. What would you like to do? Cool. Um, I th he's like right up on me, right? He's right up in your grill. Yeah. Uh, then I then I will. Can I draw my dagger and just sh shiv him yeah. in the chest? Yeah, you can All do right, that. Great. Wonderful. I will stick with what I know, which is stabbing. Um, so that is a 12 to hit. A 12 does hit? Oh, yes. Okay. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right. 1d4 plus 2. 
Do, 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 do. All right, five points of damage it is. Five points of damage, nice. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's looking a little rough. You, you put some, put some. I mean, it's a zombie. Yeah, I mean, it's a zombie. he hit me really hard. It already looks a little rough. Um, yeah, uh, he hit me really hard. Um, yeah, it's going to be their turns. The first is going to. Oh, one second. I lost my bookmark. Uh, the first one's gonna make an attack on um, on Gino, the green one, and that's going to be another miss uh, with a total of a seven. Nice. Uh, and then the second one is going to attempt to claw out at uh, Ness, and that's going to be a thirteen. That'll do it. Thirteen will hit. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that matches my AC. I'm a wee delicate thing. Freshly dead. How? Oh, Jeez. Do you have your shield on? I do not have my shield on. I didn't have a shield. I was doing rapier and dagger. Ah, uh, okay. Because I thought I would be good at fighting. Your AC is 14, by the way. 14? Oh. Yeah. It says, on, it says on my sheet 13, but I will take that 14. Huh. Yeah, it says 14. I'm looking at D&D Beyond right now. It says 14. Um, so we'll go with it. Re yeah, refresh it. Maybe something happened. Um, so yeah, happened. that one attempts to swipe at, out at you with his claw, and you kind of cross up your dagger and your rapier and manage to block it. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, great. Nah. Nice. So I don't hit you. Uh, back up to the top. Gino. Uh, hmm. She looks like she's got that one handle. Well... No, so, so as as she makes that one kind of real a bit, I'm gonna try to like just kind of bring the sword back and like work it in to bring the thing down. That's the one that's attacking her. The one that's attacking her. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. There you go. How about a twenty? Twenty-two. Does that still hit? Does their AC increase? <laughs> their AC increases exponentially based on your roll. So yes, that does not hit. No, I'm kidding. I knew it. Uh, uh, how, how does how does twelve damage do on the twelve <laughs> damage? Um, yeah. Um, decide decide this dude's fate. How would you like to kill him? I just want to just spear him like through the through the skull, in one ear and out the other. Uh, red one. Yay. Yeah. Red one. Red one. I'm attacking yeah. the. I was. I was attacking the one that was focusing on her. Yeah. Yeah. So as you as you stab out with your spear go, or with your rapier, it goes through this dude's neck, and he, he just <laughs> and just crumples in front of you, falling a little bit toward you, Nessa, but not to the point where like he's on, this thing's on top of you. Um, Great. Uh, it's now your turn. What would you like to do? Great. Um, I would like to move up to the zombie that is not on the ground and I would like to stab him. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, moving up to that guy right there, right? That guy right there. Nope. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Oh, that, was a, that was a turn. Um, oh. So that's a 19 to hit. <laughs> yeah, that does hit. All right. Go ahead and roll your damage. And that is four. Four whole damage. Stab, stab. Okay, um, so you stab yeah. into it once, and you do four whole points of damage. You think like you're 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 getting solid hits in there. You're doing some work. Uh, if you'd like to bonus action bite, you may. I will. All right. Okay, so that is an e. Uh, that is a nine to hit. A nine, unfortunately, does not hit. So you stab in, and as you're like nice and close, you go in for the bite. But it manages to shift its weight around just a little, and you end up biting that air. Ah! Bit my tongue. Um, that one's out. So it's now, now that it's got this kind of dagger, you you know, you pull out the dagger, but you're still kind of right in front of it. It's going to make a swipe at you, Ness. Ness, uh. <laughs> um, maybe, that's maybe. going to be a. Is that plus two? So that's going to be an 11 to hit only. So it does not hit. Hey. You swipe out and it um, 
or it tries to swipe out at you. And again, like since you're so close, you man, like your reaction time is like, oh no, and you like, get your yeah. arm, and it scrapes across your your jacket, not doing a, a whole lot of da- I mean, a little bit of damage to your jacket, but overall, uh, preventing you from harm. Uh, back oh. up to the top, Gino. I uh, yeah, I, I'm attacking this thing. You gotta knock it down. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah, that hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. Thirteen damage. <laughs> nice. So after stabbing the first one, recoiling, and then watching Nessa kind of come up from the side of you and like stab and try to bite at this thing, it swipes at Nessa and she manages to definitely get up, like get her sleeves up and knock the blow out of the way. Uh, you kind of recoil, balance, decide this guy's fate. Uh, just up through the. Up through the soft part, like behind the jaw, just like straight up, straight up through the the top of the head. Yeah, he stumbles forward and he's, and you just manage to, you know, really quickly, little flicker of your wrist with your rapier, a little bit of the blood and gut spattering off it, and you go in and boom, right up through, uh, stopping this thing cold as the body goes limp and falls to the ground. Um, yeah. And as people start to look out from Lagatha's Lounge, you see the windows kind of people are rubbing the windows and trying to get some of the smoke and and stuff off. Uh, That's where we're going to go to break. All right. All right. All right. We didn't die yet. Solo, do we want the left or right box? Oh, uh, left. My left or your left? Uh Your left. So, exclamation point raffle to enter in the Slayer's Guild raffle. And we will be back uh, in just a few minutes. See you all soon. There we go.
first of all, uh, congratulations to the pretty DM for oh shoot. You can't just uh, give the prize to yourself, Logan. Those are, those are metal <laughs> dice. Yes, um, these are very nice metal dice from our friends over at Slayers Guild. Um, reach out to Solo or myself, and we'll figure things out that way. Um, yeah, awesome. Congratulations. Um, sorry, I dropped your dice. Um, but back to our adventure. Um, so Nessa and Gino, just shortly after um, having a not so friendly encounter where Nessa uh, managed to bite and drink some of Gino's blood, were then assaulted by a shadowy figure that upon being evaporated into shadowy dust, uh, manifested itself into what seems to be two ghouls. Uh, you guys now are in the alleyway between Lagatha's and the stable. A few of the patrons from without, from within dust, you know, getting some of the smudges out of the window and staring out into the night toward you two. What would you like to do? Um, wipe my blade and sheath it. Cloak of billowing as I look up into the sky and give them a little a little wave in the window. Yeah, can you do a performance check for that, please? <laughs> yeah, I certainly can. I love Cloak of Billowing. I gave it to you. This one. Uh, 13. This one they gotta work for. Um, you watch, it's like, they're all like, <laughs> no. um ari ari is standing at the window like oh man that's cool uh <laughs> but yeah so you um lagatha comes running out oh what 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 are these things what happened well ma'am it appears that some necromancer or other may have been working his magic around this town at least that would be my guess based on the uh, undead pulling themselves out of the ground. <clears throat> out, out of the out of the ground? Yeah. Like here? Yes. <laughs> it was the, the apparently the thing. Apparently the staple was built on a burial ground or something. Uh, you watch as like her eyes get wide. The, the stables are under a burial ground. That means my inn. Oh no! She like runs back into the. Do you have a, you have a basement? <laughs> Do you have a basement? <laughs> this inn is yeah. haunted as hell. Ale. Oh, well, not the ale. It's go, the ale go. ghosts. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> um, she 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 runs off. Yeah, she runs. She kind of like runs back into the the inn to try to see if there are any dead bodies or whatever in, inside. Do you remember no. anything about what happened to you last night I, at all? Not a bit, but I am really, really wanting to have this conversation with you. Um, but definitely not here. Cute. Are you feeling that hunger anymore? No, I'm, uh, I'm actually kind of all right. Sorry I, sorry, I bit you. I'm really not like it's that. It's just... You know, no, well, you are now, unfortunately. I hate to tell you. As far as I'm aware, there's no way to reverse that process. There's no way to reverse it. Not that I'm aware of. Um, look. It's been a long... It's been a long night. Uh, already. I think. Do you have some place to stay? I should... Um, where That's it is, uh, not a hundred percent positive on that. I, I mean, I, I've spent plenty of nights at Legatha's. I've slept under that bar, so I'm sure she wouldn't mind if I did it. But I, I just, you know, with the new facial jewelry and stuff, I just, I don't, I don't want to eat that kid, man. I really yeah. almost ate that kid. I would strongly advise you avoid biting anybody else. If it really needs to happen, I'm just let me know. But uh, 
Look, I'm getting out of here in the morning. I think it's in your best interest to make tracks as well. Sure. I mean, that tracks, at least, yeah. At least until you figure out how to get that under control. It's probably not safe for you to be in civilized areas like this. But I, I, well, I, I don't, I don't know for sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm more of like a civilization kind of person. I feel like going up into the hills with the dirt and the apparently real vampires are, is not, I don't, I don't know. I they mean, live in can a, I they, die? They are civilized up there. It's not some wild i mean you can die yes first off yes you absolutely can't die which is why i okay. think you it's a good thing you knocked yourself out tonight i'll say that much um what i will say is it's i i understand how much it means to grow up in a place and to see the same people every day to have uh to have a routine to have comforts Unfortunately, sometimes we have to give those things up. And if it's not enough uh, for you to not want to trouble the other people that live here, uh, maybe it'll convince you to leave if I point out that if you keep going around biting people, it's only a matter of time before they find out what your situation is. And I can't guarantee that they'll all be as understanding as I am. So that's very fair. I mean, they're they're my friends. They're the only people I've ever known. I where all the where more reason I, for you to get this under control before you see them again. Where do well? Where do I go? Like <sighs> I could. Tell you what, I travel all over the place. It's sort of my thing. Um, as you can tell, there's room in the wagon. Um, <laughs> Barely, that's tight quarters in there. I might be... I might be willing to assist with this. I'm actually a little curious uh, myself about the your your state about. I sort of dabble in in little homemade remedies, uh, medicines, the like. Um, you're in a very bizarre situation right now, and uh, well, seeing as how you just ate an entire. Uh, poultice, which reminds me, now I'll need to replace that. They're supposed to be reusable. Um, <laughs> if you wouldn't mind... If you want to reverse this, I guess what I'm trying to say is... Uh, I think I would appreciate the opportunity to see if there's anything I can do about that. Sure. I mean, <laughs> you're obviously not a person who's, you know, trying to stab me at the moment. Um, so, no, yeah. catch me on a bad day, but... <laughs> I mean, look, I, I already not, have. But... Look, I'm not an aggressive person. It's not the sort of thing I'm into. I, If I could go the rest of my life without fighting, believe me, I would. Uh, unfortunately, when you travel around enough, you see enough people, you run into enough beasts, it's just sort of a skill you have to pick up. Um, and there are times where uh, breaking a pacifist rule uh, I think is preferable to winding up dead, I suppose. So. Well, I mean, I've already I've already rather found out that uh, I have an aptitude for sharp objects and things, so... You can also make I things come out of your hands, which is uh, a little terrifying. Which is crazy! I've never seen that happen before, honestly. Is that, is that entirely new as well? Uh, the, the, the big, the blood 
the blood one was. Um, the the other one, like I can dabble in it. You know, I'm I'm sort of slowly learning it. But um, all right, look, I... it's entirely up to you. I have no horse in this race. I don't particularly care whether you come with me or not. I like my wagon. I like the road. I like traveling. Um, but I do have the space and the curiosity. I'm curious. Yes. Uh, let, let's chalk it up to that. Uh, so if you want to go with me in the morning, I'm heading out of here. Uh, there's actually some, uh, a, a little wolf problem I'm going to help with out West before I make another stop and do a little more trading. And then maybe we can make our way over to the north. Uh, I haven't been there in a very long time. So maybe I can sure. swing you by around some people who might know a bit more about your situation. And maybe I can figure out how to use... Between my blood and your blood, I guess what I'm trying to say is I think there might be some grounds for some interesting medical progression to put it lightly so huh. that's my offer no skin off my back you're welcome to sleep in the wagon or your house if you can find it um yeah i i, uh... I need a drink assuming the zombies haven't gotten into it first <laughs> that's that's funny um i'm i think i'm gonna take you up on that offer if you don't mind. Excellent. We'll leave uh, tomorrow around noon, I think they said. Thad and Great. Mork, whoever they were. And I walk off towards the bar. I'm going to go find my house. Okay, nice talking to you. I, mm, All right. Yeah, you know what? Sure. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, really quick. Point of order, Nessa. The um, healing potion should have hurt you, but it didn't because of the poultice. Yeah. Oh, because of the poultice. We'll, we'll, we'll work that loophole in there because DM was forgetful. Um, yeah. I, it's, you know, no, I knew that. So I just, yeah. I, you know, yeah. it was, just it was completely <laughs> intentional. Um, yeah, Logan, Logan and I have talked about this whole uh, practical medicine thing. Yeah, yeah. we got to figure that out. Yeah, all your voodoo. Hours. I mean, practical medicine. Uh, hours. Hours of work <laughs> on this. There's a huge spreadsheet of all this stuff. It's fantastic. Huge book. There's gotta, there's gotta be now. Now we gotta do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get someone on that. Uh, so Nessa, after Gino, Gino heads into Lagatha's Lounge to go get a drink. Um, what would you like to do? Um, I think I kind of, I, I want to just try to remember where I live. I, I love to like, like just, just like wander around and like try really hard to remember anything about my past life. Yeah, go ahead and, and just give sort me, of wander the town. Go ahead and give me a history check. History like, check. The wandering town. I swear to God, if it's an at twenty, okay, good. Um, <laughs> this, is gonna, this is gonna be that. This is gonna. This is gonna, gonna be that. Are you my mommy? I'm legitimately going to cry. Um, um, so my, as, my history's plus one, so it's a three. three this is just so, gonna be that. Are you my mommy book of like the, the duck or whatever it is wandering around. <laughs> are you um, my mother? You know, um, the community around Lagatha's Lounge is really more of like a small, like a really, really small village that surrounds a really, really popular tavern, right? Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's not like it's a full-fledged community. Um, there are homes and there's, you know, there's a stable and there's a guy who tries to be a blacksmith, but they're, th it's more so about Lagatha's than about the community around it. Um mm -hmm. So as you're walking around, you're going to different houses. A lot of the lights are out. Um, some of the lights inside, you can see um, one of the homes near the blacksmith actually has the front lanterns on. Um, you, you, you're kind of getting a recollection of like, you either were there once or you lived, like you lived there. You're not quite sure. All right. Uh, th this house, sorry, this house is dark. Or is uh, it no, this one's lit up. This one's lit up. Yeah. Um, can I kind of scoot on over to the window and sort of peek in? Yeah, go ahead and give me a perception check. Okay. All right, so that is a 17. Yeah, 
So inside, um, you see a nice little kitchen table set up. Um, there's a candle on the there's a candle in the center of the table, uh, and then there's a small book uh, that seems to be open as well. But you I don't see any you, people. You don't see any people in there quite yet. No. Okay. Well, if I have a sneaking suspicion that this is my house, maybe I'll go up to the door and try the handle. Okay. Yeah, you try the handle. Uh, the door is locked. Oh. Maybe it's not my house then. Rats. Um, can I... Uh, can I search <laughs> myself, see if I have any keys? <laughs> Yeah, uh, searching through your pockets, you do not happen to have a key. Dogger, do I live in a house without a lock? Do I live at Lagatha's? Is this my fucking house? Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I guess I'm just gonna. How, how loud like, do you say? How loud do you say that last that last part? I'll, I'll say it like out loud to my like you know. Is this my fucking house? Did you hear, like, Anybody out here? Like a small latch on the other side of the door, and the door as this like little hunched over old. Can I help you? You live here. Yeah, I do. Dad, you don't. Uh, this is, sir. I'm so sorry to bother you this this fine evening. Um, you don't Who probably recognize. You? You don't know. You don't know this face. Perfect. Never mind. Have a good night. And I'm just gonna fuck off. <laughs> oh, all right. Good. Good night. And, like I'll fuck off into the night. Before you hear it latch and uh, waddles back over. Like as you're walking past it and you peer through the window again, you watch him sitting down at his kitchen table with the book and starting to flip through some of the pages. All right. One down. I. <laughs> I continue to search the houses to see if there's any signs of me, which I don't really know. <laughs> yeah. Um, after probably about a good hour of walking around in the community, um, it doesn't take you long really to walk from house to house where you really take up most, most of your time is really sitting at the doorstep or looking through the windows and contemplating like, are these things that I've noticed or remembered from my life? Um, yeah. And time and time again, you are just getting big old no, no, like, I don't remember anything like those types of vibes. Um, you know, the only thing that kind of keeps resounding in your head is that, like, of the people you knew, you knew Ari, kind of, like, you knew, remembered his name. And yeah. then you knew, you know, and you remember the people's names and faces who work at Lagatha's Lounge. Lagatha. All right. Well, I guess I'll go back there then. That's the last thing I remember. So I'll... Um... I'll go back to and see if I can find my friend Bino. Yeah. Um, so while Nessa is kind of running around and looking for herself in other people's homes, um, <laughs> Gino, what what would you like to be doing? I'm like three deep. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. um, Lagatha just you know keeps round after round coming. She knows that you know you are a very generous tipper. And very uh, now I have to be. Oh, you know what I mean. Um, I I will be. I will be. I am. I am. (laughs) You know, better tip twenty percent. Or Nessa is going to drain him in his sleep. Every person in here is a generous tipper, whether they like it or not. No, I'm kidding. Um, (laughs) In my world, it's twenty to twenty-five percent baseline. Is that Uh, New York baseline or like everywhere baseline? Because I've been doing it. Oh no! What baseline? Twenty percent. 20% 20% is 20%. 20%. Um, anyway, so you're drinking, enjoying, and vibing, listening to the wonderful music of the bard who is at the hearth, uh, now um, playing a bagpipe uh, almost as beautifully as he played a lute. Yeah, you know, bards are great. Although, uh, unfortunately, it's a bagpipe, so not quite as beautifully. Yeah, yeah. no. Uh, lots of honks and, and yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, right when you walk in, Lagatha, it's kind of like, oh, good, good. Um, no zombies or undead in, in, in the cellar. And kind of goes and grabs you ale and keeps you nice well and, and, and you know, drunk or starting to get drunk. Um, yeah. Yeah. And by that time, Nessa walks in. I'm going to kind of like <sighs> sit down next to Gino. <laughs> hey, champ. Find your house. 
Nope. Frightened no, a couple creepy. people. Scared the shit out of an old man. But hmm. yeah, that's a pity. Yeah. Well, I have no idea. Well, you know, hopefully, hopefully you still had a lot to pay off on that house. You know, hmm. imagine all the debt you could possibly be leaving behind you right now until they find you, I suppose. But then you can just eat them. So that's true. <clears throat> I guess that's my new uh, get out of jail free card there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you uh, you practice with a weapon at all? Yeah, yeah, a bit. I got a rapier and a dagger and bangs. I suppose you don't remember I say whether quietly, you actually learned. I say very quietly. I suppose you don't really remember if you ever learned how to use them, huh? I mean, I did fairly well with the ghoul out there. I you know, shoved it into his ribcage and shook it around a little. Seemed to do the trick. Yeah, that's fair. Then again, you were hitting a shambling corpse that was... Maybe a foot from you. True. Well, it'll Very have to true. do. Hopefully you can do as well against some wolves, but... I mean, is what yeah. It, is. it it seems like... It seems like there's... um. I'm not going to know until I try it. If that makes sense. Yeah. You know? I uh, This seems to be coming in waves. Yeah. All new and... Uh, Horrifying things. Well, we'll have plenty of opportunities to practice once we're out away from crowds of people. Uh, say, Lagatha. Yeah. You know if those uh, if those, if those two men, if uh, Thad and Mork, you know if they found anybody else to uh, to help out, they say anything about it? They uh, they haven't came back yet. Um, but that's fair. When they left, I think the only person they found was you. All right. Well, Nessa said she's going to help out, so we'll uh, we'll at least have two for them. But going on an adventure, Lagatha. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Uh, it'll be. Uh, we'll miss you. Been here way Thanks. too long for for. It'll be hard saying goodbye. Yes, I I've, I've been here for a long time, right? Um. Hi. Yeah. How many How many years has it been, Lagatha? Like. You so I you suppose you uh you knew Nessa pretty well, huh? She's a resident I, here, I gather. I mean she's been coming and going since she was a lass. Yep. Ever ever since ah. then. With my da No, with your ma. With my ma, sorry. Yes, of course. <laughs> what am I thinking? The, the da would never like, you're not who, a he's who not the who am I to who am I to question family roles? Uh. Yeah, mm. yeah, nope, definitely family roles that I remember and know well. Um, You've never mentioned your dad before. Yeah. Ah, uh, slip of the tongue. Um, She's had a traumatic experience with the attack tonight and everything. Yeah, when you when you see corpses rising from the ground, it just sort of shakes your it's a bit ends creepy. and bees. It's a little creepy, yes. Deep far, creepy. Far from the worst I've endured, but it's... I can understand how it might rattle one's psyche. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. And I, I'm just gonna, like, <laughs> sit she and try bring, to be... She brings you an ale. <laughs> Thank you, Lagatha. Thank you very much, Lagatha. You're um, welcome, dearie. I'm just gonna hold it. <laughs> well. Uh, anything else interesting thing. happening in the pub, or does it seem to be much the same as it uh, was? Kind of much the same. There's a few older gentlemen over to the one corner playing cards. Um, the bard is kind of hopping and going around uh, at this point. Um, now that it's getting later with his hat, um, attempting to get some coin out of the patrons of the bar, uh, he slowly kind of walks up to the two of you and... and if, if you enjoyed uh, my music I, I, and willing to donate a, a tip for a traveling bard, I, I would be in your debt. I'm going to slap him a gold and uh, slap him a gold. And I'm also going to ask Lagatha for the tab. Uh, yeah, that's only uh, 
six, seven silver pieces for everything. Excellent. Excellent. I'll slap down. A, I'll put a gold on the on the counter there, and I'm gonna say, uh, well, spend it wisely. I'm gonna go earn that back, and I'm gonna head over to the guys playing cards. And uh, gentlemen, mind if I deal in? Uh, sure. Yeah, you can. Uh, you can hop in whenever. Uh, really quick, and they. It looked like they were about to be done with the hand anyway. Um, all right. Yeah. Um, Go ahead and uh, they start dealing out cards. Go ahead and roll uh, five d sixes for me. Oh, actually, do that behind the screen. Oh, yeah. Got sorry, it. I should have. Yeah, card games and gambling because I don't want to actually meta that I know your rules. Man, that was a good hand. All right. Let me <laughs> go ahead and bring up a notepad to notate what I get. And then. Uh, you said five? Yes, please. All right, done. All right. Uh, the ante is a single gold piece. All right, I'll ante you. Every round, uh, there's two rounds. You can choose to replace uh, the first round, a number of cards or a number of dice, equal or up to three, um, but you have to bet. Okay. And is this a situation where we're trying to, like, get highest, a higher number? Highest hand wins. So the highest, the highest number wins. Okay, so we are doing, like there's doubles and getting three of a kind and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not, it's traditional that. It's not it's, any, but you're basically adding up all your dice and whoever has the highest total at the end. Wins. It's not just going for the highest number. Got it. I'm sorry guys. I'm not as good as Solo's devil Con casino yet. Give me some time. <laughs> all right. So to clarify, we are looking for like a, a pair or three of a kind and stuff like that. No, it's better no, than just no, having like, Total numbers across the board. Highest total numbers across the board. Got it. So, right. like, if you roll a one, two, three, four, five, it's one plus two plus three plus four plus five equals. Got it. Math is hard. Got it. So, I just want to have the highest possible number in my hand. Yes. So, for the first okay. round, um, you can re roll up to three, um, but you have to place a bet. So, the guy, the first guy is like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll three, and he rolls. Um, or I'm gonna I'm gonna get three new cards and he roll uh, he uh, he puts down a gold. Uh, I will match him. I will call and I'm going to I'm gonna roll three. All right. Um, and then the third guy does, third guy puts down a gold as well uh, and rerolls some of his cards. Um, the second round is similar, but you can only reroll two. If you'd like, okay. you can you can choose to reroll none. That's up to you. Um, both the second and the third guy, both at this point, put two gold in each. So now the pot is up to six, ten. Yeah, up to ten gold. Whew. Yeah, I call. Uh, twelve gold now, uh, and they're one. One of them is going to reroll one, and the other one is going to reroll two. I'm rerolling one. Okay. After that, you guys show your cards. What's your total? Uh, twenty. Twenty. So I didn't go over twenty-one. I'm just, I'm okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen, seventeen for that guy, and then the second guy got five, ten. 11. Wow, why is math so hard right now, guys? I'm literally staring at the numbers and trying to do a basic addition <laughs> in my head. Um, that's, At least you know where your house uh, is. The, huh? At least you know where your house is. Yeah, You're doing I, better than I am. Hope this is, I hope this is my house. Um, <laughs> is this my house? Do I have keys on yeah. it? <laughs> uh, the second guy got a uh, 14. Um, so you end up winning the pot of, I think I believe I said 12 gold. All right. Wow. How much of that was mine? 
Uh, your of that a third of it, basically. You put in one, two, three, four. So you won eight gold. All right, excellent. Tidy profit. Nice little, nice little chunk of change. Yeah. Yep. Tidy profit, keeping the church clean. Um. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, sure. I'm gonna tip my, I'm gonna tip my hat and uh, say, gentlemen, it was a pleasure, but we got places to be. Uh, better luck next time. Nah, and, you're just uh, scared of losing your money. Uh, and they, they kind of go back to it, dealing out cards and, and gambling again. It looks like these guys are kind of townies that do this every night. And it's like one of those things where like one night, one guy wins big. And then like the next night, like it's really just the same pool of money, just rotating <laughs> just everybody. Between. Um, <laughs> same pool of gold to everybody. Yeah. Um, but you go back, uh, Nessa, you kind of watch on, um, nobody really, again, like, you're like, I swear I know those guys he's playing cards with, but like the names just aren't there. Um, and like, same with a couple of the others, the bard, you're like, you're really trying to remember what the bard's name is, but you're like having no clue. Um, fortunately the cook, um, the cook who is named, uh, where'd I have him? Uh, Tarhoon. Uh, this nice copper dragonborn at one point comes out of the kitchen and like says hi to you and he's like, oh, how's, how's it going, Nessa? How, how's your day been? Uh, not the best. Uh, thanks for asking though. It's, you, you, uh, enjoy, you enjoy your dinner? Uh, yeah. In a in a manner of speaking, I really did. It's um, I seem to have acquired some new tastes, which I'm. I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily say eager to explore, but it looks like I'm gonna have to explore them anyway. So, might as well get excited, right? Yeah, I mean, I did. Add, I, say, I say hiding my fangs. Sorry, I'm smiling did, entirely did too much. A little bit of garlic to the the gravy. Um, hope you hope hope it was good. Um, yeah, I've tried something different every once in a while. Delish, man! It's absolutely stellar. Like, well, well done, you. No. no um. Thanks. And he just kind of, uh, all right, well, I got to get back and finish cleaning up the kitchen. You have a good night. And he walks back inside. To Tarhoon. Uh, Tarhoon? Tarhoon. 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 Like Calhoun. Tarhoon. T-A-R-H-U-N for all those in chat wondering. Tarhoon. So what's his deal? <laughs> what does he want out of his life? So, like, what's Tarhoon's whole backstory? I know that I don't have a backstory for my character, but I'd like to know Tarhoon. Well, Tarhoon, first of all, has a home. <laughs> he has a home, and he knows where it is. <laughs> uh, no, but so uh, <laughs> after a couple hours, you guys, you know, or a little after a little bit, a uh, little bit after, you guys take the time, pay your tab, uh, collect your money, uh, and head back to. Unless Nessa, are you trying to stay at Lagatha's, or are you also going to stay at Gino's? Um, at Gino's caravan crib. Gino's <laughs> <laughs> Gino, Gino's cart crib. Um, I'll I'll probably bunk at Lagatha's one last night. Cool. You know, um, I, I'm probably leaving forever. So. <laughs> yeah, she. Uh, you know, as Gino heads out, Gino, you hear kind of from behind. Yeah, uh, you know, you have a room. Um, it's always here for you in case in case you're too busy uh, or you're you're not you're not well enough to travel. Um, you know, you head on up. You know where it is. Of, uh, of course I do. Thanks, Lagatha. And I I go up and now I try to figure out which room is mine. There mm -hmm. are there are six rooms in the second floor of Lagatha's lounge. Three on the right and three on the left. Cool. I'm I, I'm I'm gonna. Do any of them look familiar? I don't even get a um, feeling. Roll a intelligence check. Oh. Hey. Uh. So that's a nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. So the second one on your left hand side is drawing your attention. Ha! I'm gonna open the door. Yeah. So as you open it, it's a pretty dark room. Um, candle hasn't been lit. You know, you go around, light the candle, and it, you know, pretty simple, you know, tavern in bed, nice straw mattress, blanket, pillow, uh, small desk in the corner, and like a little dresser in case, you know, you need to put stuff there. 
Um, but other than that, it seems pretty bare. Cool. No, are there any like knickknacks or anything? No. Particularly interesting? Cool. Uh, I no. There's nothing really in like you scan the room and they're, you're not picking up anything that's like, hey, tell me about me. Okay. <laughs> tell me, please, anyone, can anyone. Um, all right, great. I guess I'm just going to kind of like lie on the bed. Like, <laughs> yeah, so you lay down, sleep finally takes both of you, uh, Gino, as you go back to your cart and kind of clean some things up. All right, uh, as I lay down in the okay western. There you go. <laughs> the Winnebago. Uh, you guys both get to take a long rest. So go ahead and mark Yay. those off real quick. It does nothing oh. for me. I get to go back up to my 11 points. You have 11 HP? Yeah. Do clerics get 10? I guess they would, huh? They get a... Right. No, clerics are D8. D8? She's three constitution? Nice. She must. Yeah, I don't I'm, know. I'm not looking I'm, at it. I'm fairly stacked. Yeah, I have three constitution. You stacked. wouldn't. You wouldn't think it by the fact that a bunch of people, you know, you, you no. hit me so hard. You hit no, me so a, hard. A cleric with a constitution is good. A cleric mm. with good, yeah. That's helps, a good helps, you, helps, you, helps, you, helps you with the concentration. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, as the morning rises, uh, Gino, you in particular are, I'm guessing, an early riser or at least an early preparer in the morning, right? Yes. Or something of that nature. Uh, I get up with the sun, baby. Yeah, as Marabu culture dictates, um, you spend the morning harnessing your horse, which have you given your horse a name yet? Uh, yes, Agro. Hmm? Agro. Agro? Aww. Yes. Like, <laughs> Agro. Yes. One, one G. It's not oh. like the MMO Agro. It's... Okay, because that's where my head went, and I'm like, all right, cool, I'm going to hit the horse first. Just um, a really horse. <laughs> just like, yeah, the, that horse is always just like, I hate your hair. Like... <laughs> uh, no, it's, yes, uh, you wake up. Yeah. Uh, Ari comes in the morning and helps you hitch Agro to... God, that's awesome. Uh, Agro to your uh, caravan cart, uh, and you kind of situate yourself in front of the stable... Um, waiting for Thad and Mort to uh, get back to Lagava's Lounge and, and talk through, you know, their experience, see if they need your help or not, uh, that stuff. Um, Nessa, you wake up also uh, wet with the sun. Um, it's kind of irritating. Yeah. Like, it's like really bright. Mm -hmm. um, right. Not a whole lot is coming in through your window, but it's enough for you to be like, mm. like kind of like, the yeah yeah do not like um i get i guess i'll get up and sort of fumble about and get myself together going on an adventure today with no history and no backpack let's fucking do this and i'm gonna head downstairs <laughs> awesome so you head downstairs like if kind of you know waves high and bye to you as you start to head out the door um, Gino, you're pretty close to where the entrance to Lagathos is. As you walk out, um, and Nessa, as you walk out into the sun, you, your face and your hands start to feel hot and not like, oh, like the sun is warm, hot, but like I'm on fire hot. Oh, I'm a, I'm a step back into the doorway and out of the sun. Gino, you watch as like her cheeks start to like the best way I can explain it is like from blade when the vampires are in the sun and they start to like ash you watch as that starts to happen, like to her cheeks and her hands and she steps back into the sun and it kind of, those wounds start to close back up a little. Oh, Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, I go digging through the, uh, I'm going to go digging through the, um, my, cart for any kind of flowy covering big wide brimmed hat anything that would block off the sun uh, yeah um after a minute or two of searching and nessa you sitting there like what do i do gino I comes outside. walking up to you uh with this giant wide brim hat that's you know like out past your shoulders wide um just super extravagant and uh, what's the other word I'm thinking of? 
um, flamboyant, fashionable. Flamboyant. There we go. Fashionable <laughs> in Gino's terms, uh, as he presents it to you. Uh, Milady. Uh, yeah, I forgot. I I might have forgotten to tell you. You uh, you're gonna want to cover your skin as much as possible. Uh, yeah, moving forward. Yeah. Figure that out in the most horrifying way. Don't know why I'm surprised anymore. What's the hat? It. You might want to cover your skin as much as possible. Oh, for me, it's it's I, I thanks. Uh, does I, it? I couldn't. I couldn't possibly wear it. It's out of season, um, but I'm sure it'll look great on you. Um, um, yeah. All right. It's gigantic. Uh, so I'm. I'm gonna put it on. Yeah. How does it look? Um, it looks uh, incredible. You. It's honestly the envy of Cantor. Oh, really? I mean, it's. Yes. All right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dino. You know. Uh, I, and I'm gonna like try to adjust it and get it on me. Yeah, nice you take a minute to adjust it, figure it out. You think you got it nice and snug on your head. All right. And then I'm gonna step out into the sunlight. <laughs> yeah, as you step out, like there's a moment when you think like, oh god, that yeah. it's gonna happen to me again, and like almost like kind of PTSD flashback of like two seconds earlier when you almost burnt to a crisp. And as yeah. the warm rays of the sun hit the top of your hat, you still feel the warmth of the sun and it's still kind of annoying, but you don't yeah. feel your, your skin uh, start to burn. The hat huh. is doing a good enough job, excuse me, covering your face uh, and parts of your hands. Um, so no longer, no longer uh, have to worry about that. All right. Well, that's a that's a good trick, Gino. <laughs> you definitely know more about this shit than I do. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you travel around enough, you uh, you pick up a few things. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so, um, where uh, where do, where do you want me? Where am I helpful? How do I where? How well, can I help you up with the cart? Given the situation, you might want to just ride in the back. I'm still waiting for the guys to come back and uh, take us to take us to the job. But you know. now, and what is the job exactly? There's wolves. Oh yeah, we got to kill some wolves. All right, it doesn't seem they're, too hard. Uh, they're eating the livestock. Yeah, it should be it should be a walk in the park, but it'll be a chance for you to get used to your abilities. Yeah. All right. So. I like calling them abilities instead of scary things that happen to me. So. It might be a better thing to say in public as well. Uh, if if you see anything else in there, uh, gloves, a robe, anything that you think might uh, might help you out with the whole situation, feel free to take it. None of it's terribly expensive anymore. Thanks. I, I appreciate that. You bit of a clothes horse, Gino. What? You bit of a clothes horse? You have a big wardrobe? I'm a merchant. <laughs> Darling. Um. Having, having, a, having an extensive and tasteful wardrobe is part of the trade. All right. Well, um, I'm very happy to reap the benefits. Thank you. Help yep. me out here. Yeah. Anytime. And as you guys spend the next couple of, you know, hour or so getting the cart ready, getting the horse, you know, fed and ready, um, going and searching Nessa, you do find a pair of gloves in the back that you can use um, that seem to fit you. Uh, after a couple of hours, you do see coming down uh, the road from Deepwell, uh, Thad and Mort, uh, both uh, kind of walking, you know, uh, walking stick in hand, uh, Mort trailing a little bit behind Thad as Thad has a uh, longer stride. Uh, but you hear Morgan. Well, um, Thad. <laughs> tired. <laughs> Need some rest. Want some milk. Bowie. Thad's just like, all right, all right. We'll stop at Lagatha's for a minute anyway. We have to check in with Gino. Uh, and as they get closer, you know, he waves you down and like kind of 
nudges Mort into Lagatha's lounge to go get some milk. Um, so uh, we didn't manage to find anybody in Deepwell, unfortunately. A uh, bunch of stuck-up pricks, if you ask me. Yeah, well, I'd never say it publicly, but people here do tend to be a little full of themselves. Billow. Um, <laughs> he kind of Sweet. looks at you and he's just, yeah, you know, the few adventurers and, you know, strong looking type charge way more than my father can afford. So uh, you guys will have to do. Oh, well, always happy to be the backup. Um, I actually did manage to find some uh, some extra help. Uh, Nessa is going to be going with us. She's helped me fight off some of the undead last night, and uh, I think she'll be more than capable. Very nice. Uh, it's nice. Uh, yeah, I figured the wolves would be a little for you to handle alone, but uh, two of you should be good. Yeah, my dad will be pretty happy about that. Yeah, well, it should be more than enough between us, I think. Yeah. Uh, let's, we're going to let Mort finish up real quick, and then uh, we can hit the road. How's that sound? Yeah, of course. Needs his, uh, needs those sweet nutrients. That calcium. <laughs> As a physician, I know these things. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. All right, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, this is yeah, awesome. all right. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, okay. Uh, Mort is, uh, you know, Mort eventually comes out and he's like, Dad, I'm tired. Can I sleep in the cart? You had me walking all day and pretty much all last night. That's like, Aww. fine, whatever. Um, and he kind of like rolls his eyes, like the whole, like, he's big brother having to babysit his little brother to go find help. Um, and, you know, he's like, it's okay if he like is stays in the back of your cart, right? Uh yeah. Let me just make sure that none of the sharp objects are uh, in an in, in an unfortunate position for 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 passengers. I'll be I'll be right I'll be right back out. Cool. Yeah. Um. As you go back to talk with Nessa, Nessa, you're still um scrounging through stuff and like kind of flipping things left and right like not like in a, like a you're tossing things around um mm -hmm. but you happen to grab something and toss it back and gino you happen to catch it and it is in fact a healing potion um continuing to kind of scramble around uh nessa you do find a second healing potion in there as well for yourself hey you got these coming out of the woodwork man uh what can i say writing it down before <laughs> I, I don't know that's your thing um nessa you're immediately kind of hit as gino comes around like you smell gino mm. but there's another smell as well a you younger feeling... more sweeter smell are you feeling the thing i mean maybe maybe a little there's something something smells very nice it's kind of sort of creamy Shut the door. Hold my arm out. Just all right. Get it over with. Got to. You have to control yourself for a while. All right. I. I. Well, I mean, I don't. I don't know if I can like consciously. Do, I. I was like not myself when I did it before. I don't want to bite you now. I'm like in full control of my faculty. Give me your fucking arm and. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bite him. Um, yes, but I, he's but going I to do it. I get to choose whether or not I deal damage, and I do not want to deal damage to Bino. There you go. So you you have uh, not corrected me yet. I know. <laughs> um, so you satiate your hunger. Um, <clears throat> the the smell is still there, but it's more of like a like it's there, but it's not luring you. Like it's not you know like like. You know, Tom and Jerry, when Tom puts the, the, the cheese out and the little tendril goes into the, the mouse hole and uh, <laughs> Jerry flying out. I forget which is which. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, it's there, but it's not strong. Um, but you guys head out on the road eastward toward the village of Welton. Um, uh, Gino, can you do me a favor and roll a 
uh, animal handling or survival check for me, whichever is higher for you. Survival is slightly higher. Oof. That was like on oh. an 18. All right. It's so, six. six. Okay, six. That's not bad. Um, as you're going, you know, you hit a couple bumps uh, throughout the course of your first day. You um, you hit a couple of the like kind of bigger potholes that are there, and you know, you think that there's some damage to the cart, and like looking over, um, and and Thad, who is kind of keeping up, walking alongside your your cart, uh, kind of helps you look and, and scan the cart for any damage, and there doesn't seem to be any. Um, you make slower progress than you thought you were going to the first day it may it may take you another another full you know it'll probably take you another uh, another two days to get there for sure uh maybe pushing two and a half days uh but as night takes you guys uh you guys set up camp um and get to you know kind of go about your day or go about your evening setting up um thad and mort choose to sleep kind of nestled alongside the cart not like near the fire, not necessarily in the cart, um, but you guys can choose to do whatever you'd like. Uh, uh, so they're so they're sleeping outside. Yeah, they're gonna sleep like if your cart was here, they're gonna sleep kind of alongside the cart. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, what what what's the weather like? Um, it's a little overcast, not quite rainy at all but i mean there's some clouds a little bit of wind mm, does it feel like that'll hold up through the night and it won't open uh, up on us give me a nature check and this year oh, okay never mind that's a straight seven <laughs> um you're not quite sure i mean you've seen whether it's still springtime um in cantor trees are starting to bloom um the uh the kind of rainy season hasn't quite hit yet. Um, so it, it's kind of hit or miss. Well, nothing ventured, nothing rained. I'm going to pop my bed roll out on the top of the cart, like on the, on the, on the roof and on just like roof. climb up there, just sleep on the roof. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Nessa, where would you like to lay your head? I'll, for the sleep. Night? I'll sleep inside the cart. Just because I don't want to get surprised by dawn. <laughs> awesome. Um, Nothing roll. worse than waking up with the dawn in your face. I know when the dawn is melting your face. Um, so throughout the um, throughout the night, as you guys gain your long rest, Gino, you do hear noises in the forest um, occasionally as you sleep and kind of wake up and roll around. You've slept on the top of your cart before, but nothing, you know new surroundings, stuff like that, but you don't hear anything um, at the moment. Uh, as you guys wake up with a long rest, we're going to take a quick two-minute break so I can let out my dog. Uh, Solo, I believe we have another giveaway. Uh, we do. It's activated right now. Exclamation point raffled. Enter the video game giveaway. Uh, any players, DMs, or fans can enter. Moderators as well. Uh, I actually have the timer at five minutes because I have to do something real quick, too. So we'll be back oh. in five minutes. See you guys soon. We'll be back. Bye.
welcome back. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, so second day, uh, as you guys wake up and get the cart ready, um, you know, Thad and Mort, after Mort's nice long day of rest in the back of the, the <laughs> cart, decides to walk. Um, and you guys start to uh, head down the road. Uh, Gino, can you give me another uh, survival or animal handling check? Please? Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, 14. 14. Cool. As you're walking down the road, um, as you're walking down the road, um, the, you see kind of at the, the far end of your vision, uh, the road's pretty flat, uh, but at the far end of your vision at about midday, you notice that there's uh, an older man kind of walking toward you guys down the road. Hey, uh, hey, Thad, is this, is this the guy? Is that your dad? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. My dad should be at Welton handling our sheep shearing business. Okay. Don't eat your life story. Uh, yeah, I don't know who this guy is then. <laughs> uh, I mean, he's probably just some random traveler. Yeah, but the yeah. DM pointed him out, so I feel like there's something going on here. <laughs> I, I feel know. like he's a creature in the sky. <laughs> God, is that you? God. Uh, I can feel the minis being prepared. Like uh, as he approaches, you hear, you know, he's uh, hail, hail, and, and well met, friends. Where, where oh, are nobody you, talks like this. Traveling to? Uh, Welton, what about you? I'm I'm trying to travel back to uh, Lakathos. Oh well, uh, or well, really anywhere. Uh, yeah. Where are you coming from? Well, uh, we were walking through the forest, and I, I seemed to get lost, and I found this road, and just started deciding to walk down. All right. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, give me, give me just a minute. Um, I'm gonna stand up on the on the seat of the wagon and turn around. And uh, while I do that, I'm going to slip out my vanity mirror and try to, like, catch him. Do you just kind of, like, look at him in it over my shoulder? Okay, go ahead and give me a sleight of hand. <laughs> Oof. God. Six. He, he, notice you, he notices you doing it, and you just watch him, like, do a... <laughs> in, the, in, the, in, in, in the mirror? In the mirror, yeah, you can clearly see okay. him. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna like pick up my teeth gonna like pick up my teeth a bit and uh and then, like put the put the mirror away. So like just wanted to make sure I was presentable. Uh yeah, yeah. You, I mean you look pretty spiffy to me. Uh I know. Um so you're trying to get back to Lagatha's. Uh we're headed the other direction. Is is Welton all right for you? I mean, does does Welton have an inn? And you hear Thad in the back. Yeah, it has an inn. It's a pretty good one. Um, rooms are pretty cheap. And food's pretty good. Yeah, I mean. All, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm in. Um, all right. Hop on, old timer. All right. Um, you want me to hop up there with you or hop, hop in the back or... Well, I, why don't you ride up front with me? Actually, yeah, let's 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 go with that. All right, all right. Um, and throughout the rest of the day, you continue to you know, riding this old man is like, well, this one time when I was a young whippersnapper like yourself, I used to uh, I used to you know run around and uh, get a lot of trouble. Um, mm. Now I, I don't as much anymore, but that's mostly because my joints. Why? So you, do you have any? Why were you out in the woods? I was going on a walk and got a little turned around and. Huh. What's your What's your name, by the way? I, I'm I'm Gino. Sorry. My name's Jack. Hmm. Well met, I'm Jack. Suspicious of Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Smith. Jack Guy's right. name. I'm I'm in the back of the wagon, right? Yeah, yeah, you're in the back. Um. Well, you where did you 
where where did you walk from exactly? From uh, well, I was coming from Welton. You're coming from Welton. Yeah. <laughs> And and yet, you, I find it odd that uh, you've been to Welton and you're not aware of their of their world famous uh, inn and its its incredible service. I couldn't afford it. Oh, well, well, uh, we've all been there. We've all been there. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> agro, <laughs> agro, agro, go faster! <laughs> hey, the guys on the car, you want to go faster with the guy? Agro, agro, we can't go. We can't possibly go fast enough. Let's go. Um, so you as turn up the falls, radio. Um, you know, same kind of situation. The old man takes up residence on the opposite side of the fire. Thad and Mort kind of to bundle up next to the cart. Um, Nessa inside the cart still. Uh, I I'll I'll go out and sit by the fire. I kind of I kind of want to sniff Jack. I kind of want to see if he smells good or if he smells like don't eat Jack. Yeah, go me uh go me. Uh give me a perception check, please. Go me, go me right. perception check. Go me perception check. Hey, any bad, any bad? Uh it's a 19. Um Jack smells a little not fully like the undead did, but he's got a kind of like dry and earthy smell to him. All right. Not, I... not, a, not, appeal, not appealing smell. Not appealing like, smell. Like a dry red wine. <laughs> he's really tannic. Jack's really tannic. Yeah, his tannins are like through the roof. Through the roof. Don't want yeah. that guy. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm right up. Don't want very to aged. Yeah. Very aged. He's yeah. been kept in a in a basement for a while. Um, I I'm gonna kind of like casually sniff Jack and then sort of like circle back around to Gino and be like, he doesn't smell like food. Are you like walking around to the? Uh, so we're still riding the wagon, right? <laughs> no, oh, we're we around a campfire. No, at this point, at this point, we're we're at night. I I kind of okay, it's at I, night. I, Got it. Got yeah, it. I, I tend to like I don't like long travels, so I. Fair. I try try to bridge the gaps as quickly as possible, um, but yeah, she walks up to you as you're kind of setting up your your uh, your bed roll up on top of the cart. Yeah, he yeah, doesn't well. smell like food. Yeah, well, he's pretty close to his time. Does it huh. does it smell different when they're closer to the ground? Because he smells like the ground. He smells like weird and earthy and well, like a little like the undead i went right into click whistle there sorry <laughs> a little like the undead uh hmm i'll uh i'll keep an eye on him for the Just undead saying. he sure has a unfortunate amount of life in him I know, right? It's just, I don't know. I mean, I, I know that, you know, my kind can't be out in the sun and everything, and he was out in the sun, but, like, you know, it smells weird, and I feel like you don't need more than one vampire around. Well, he's definitely not a vampire. I, uh, I checked. Oh. Oh! With the mirror trick, with the mirror thing. Uh, yeah, I wasn't just, Yes. That's clever. That's really clever. I know. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, speaking of which, how are you? Uh, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm. I'm actually all right. I'm. I'm like fully cognizant and not wanting to eat the wee one anymore. So That's, improvement. It's holding up this long. Yeah, it it seems all right. Interesting. Okay. Well. Like I said, just let me know. We'll have to do this without anybody seeing, or it would cause a scene. So, yeah. And and why is it that I can bite you? Hmm. Why is it that I can bite you? 
and you're not a vampire, but I got bit, and I'm a vampire. Well, it's not... Feeding isn't the same thing as creating a spawn. It's a, it's a different... Turning. <sighs> We've got a lot to teach you. Okay. It's just, you know, I, you hear the thing, you know, they they can't, you know, walk into a room without, walk into a house without someone inviting them, no garlic, that sort of thing. But I just don't know what's real and what's not with this shit. Well, you survived the garlic, so uh, I would avoid a lot of the old wives' tales and more concerned with the tangible realities you're living with. Uh, oh, no, I, I learned not to eat Tarhoon's uh, gravy long ago. I haven't eaten that for years. <laughs> Stuff's deadly. Oh. He's really good with all the other stuff, but it's just the gravy is blah. And that was too much garlic before I was a vampire, you know? It's just... Well, agree to disagree. <laughs> <sighs> it's right, fine. I'm... I'll let it go. I'll let it go. But... <laughs> I'll let it go. I won't get mad about it. I won't All get right. mad about it. Well, <laughs> in that case. I'm, um... I'm going to go keep an eye on almost dead Jack. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, right. Are you taking well... like a shift or are you like falling asleep just with one eye open type of deal? Like, yeah, I just kind of want to like casually sit on the back of the bunk, like the back bumper area, like, you know, definitely not looking at Jack, but really watching Jack. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, forget. Do you do you get as your um, as a racial thing? Do you have to sleep? I, I, was, I was wondering about that. Yeah, I, I completely yeah. forgot about whether or not you have to. I you figure. She was like an elf beforehand too, right? So she yeah. was still Yeah, I was a I was a half elf. So I I might not need sleep. Um, While we're looking at that. Gino. Yeah. What yes, what's up? What would you like? Are you just falling straight to sleep or are you keeping an eye out or what are we doing throughout our watch? Um hmm. I'm if do I see her like keeping watch more or less? Yeah, yeah, she seems to be pretty um, awake and perceptive of Jack. I'm a pretty attentive sleeper, so I'm gonna go <laughs> ahead and uh, and sleep, trusting that everything will be fine. Awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't see. I don't see anything it, that says you, you don't need sleep. So you need sleep. Doesn't look good. Um, right. So you, Nessa, you stay up for pretty much as long as you can, unless you want to burn a point and try to get exhaust. I like get a level of, of exhaustion. Um, nah. But um, you know, as you start to fall asleep, Gino, you hear a little bit of a shuffle, and then you hear ah! as you both wake up to see a more or less jackal looking creature starting to drag more toward the toward the woods like into the woods i spring up I'm gonna have and all roll initiative all right. yeah i guess yeah we wouldn't really get a surprise around here no he's surprising us if anything woo <laughs> so, have you ever been rolling initiative for their monsters on Vorpal Board? Huh? No. No? All right, cool. I didn't think so. That way you can fudge it, oh. right? Well, that's garbage. Nice. Uh, 25 to 20. Uh, no. No? Oh, I gotta roll for the boys as well. Yeah, I'll need you to tell me where everybody's at, too. Cool. Um... Let's do. You want to move the cart kind of up this way. That way we can we have a little bit more room to see. And then Gino is on top. Um, the oh. boys. The boys are back. Actually, <laughs> going this way. I'm gonna unzoom it. The boys or one of the boys in the wear creature thingy are over there. 
being dragged. Yet one of the other boys is at the back of the cart, and so is Nessa. If I'm over pointing, please let me know. Yeah, so the boys have white. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but the boys have the white cursors on them. Um, Gino, what'd you get? Because I know you got pretty high. 18. 18. Awesome. Uh, Nessa, you have a 11 13. for a total of 13. 13. So you guys are both going to get to act. And so will Thad. All of you guys will. Um, so as you wake up and kind of startled see this creature um, pulling more toward the tree line, what would you like to do? Um, fling, a, fling a dagger, like, first off, just from the belt. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm just going to try to spook that thing off. That's a 20. A 20. Um, yeah. yeah. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, seven damage. Seven damage. So as you fling the dagger, the dagger sinks in, but you don't get a reaction from the creature at all. Okay. Uh, I am getting off that cart and closing as much distance as possible. Drawing awesome. my rapier. Um, I'd say you could probably get to about like half halfway between the cart and the creature, between hopping down and your half movement. Because you're, are you still at? Are you at thirty or twenty five from Marabu? I'm at thirty. Actually, could I like try to like leap from the cart and like hit the ground rolling? Yeah, I don't see why not. Give me a athletics or acrobatics check. Acrobatics, baby. I'm a tumbler. <laughs> Dixie. Ooh, no, Never you're mind. Not. Apparently not in this uh, case. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna fall off the cart and take two points of damage. Ouchies. That's fair. <sighs> And All right. are where you are. Um, bonus action, anything? Uh, no bonus actions that apply yet. I cannot yeah. wait to not be level one. <laughs> no. I know. Return. Um, all right. I think I'm going to toll the dead. Um, Ooh. I'm going to toll the dead. All right. Let's see. Ding oh, dong. I roll for toll the dead. Yeah, toll the dead is a save. Toll the dead is a wisdom saving throw. So I Sorry. make a wisdom yep, save throw. Right. What is your spell save DC? Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, and he rolls a uh, twelve. So ding dong. Ding dong. I believe you do a one d eight points of damage. Uh, it's a d twelve because uh, it's already injured. D twelve. Mm -hmm. Not injured. Oh. It's not injured. Nope. All right, great. D eight okay. it is. Interesting. The dagger did not seem to have any effect. Oops, not two. Man, you could have taken any of the other ones that you rolled. <laughs> I'll I'll give you, I'll give, I'll, give you the uh, lower, I'll give you the lower of the other two. I'll give you the seven. Uh, thanks. So you watch as the like, you hear these gongs just go boom, 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 and you watch as like this creature shudders, and you see a little bit of this like dark red blood coming from his ears. And I, I am not close enough to bite him, so I will not take a bonus action. No, you Can will not stop? be able to do a bonus action. Can we um, stop cutting things that are immune to physical damage. Yeah, no. <laughs> just one thing. <laughs> Thad is going to run up and attack, um, and attempt to attack the creature with his quarter staff. And as he swings out. With it. He's like, give me my brother back! And swings out, and the creature just ducks under, and the, the quarter step was whizzing over his head. Uh, so, uh, white to Mr. Munchy Munch. Uh, in response, the uh, creature is going to look at uh, Mort, or not Mort, at Thad, and just stare into his eyes and you watch as their eyes lock and Thad just crumples to the ground unconscious. Yikes. And you hear him start to snore a little. Uh, with oh. his movement, he's going to kind of drag more like to here. Took a whole tree with him. There you go. Yeah. 
Ran right through a tree. Uh, Gino, what would you like to do? How is he pulling him? Like, what is what is he what is he what is he like got it got, sunk into? Uh, his leg, the leg of, uh, like his his hand is around Mort's like ankle. Okay, so it's 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 completely closed on. Um. Hmm. I don't think I could do anything. Uh, does so? How does how does Thad look? Uh, crumpled. Uh, does it look? Uh, looking at him with your medicinal ways, um, you can tell that like he's unconscious, sleeping. Doesn't seem like he's like hurt. It just seems like whatever this creature did, um, whatever this creature did turned like made made Thad fall asleep. Okay. Um Trulk and Regeneration kicks in. I heal one damage. I'm running I'm gonna run up to Mort. Okay. And I'm gonna just grab on. Okay. Um <laughs> I'm not gonna make you do anything yet. I'm gonna say essentially what holding action for when the creature tries to move away to yank Mort the other way. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, That's your action. As like Mort is like reaching his hand out, he's like, help me! (laughs) You reach out and grab his hand. Uh, Nessa, your turn. Great. All right. I am... uh, How far away about uh, am I from the critter himself? How far away am I? 20-ish feet. 20-ish feet? All right, great. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire off a, a guiding bolt. Go for it. Um, yep. So I make a range spell attack against the target. Perfect. Okay. Ooh. Hey. All Ooh, right. That's good. So that's very good. That's, that's very good. That's fifteen. Fifteen hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. Boy, fit. Uh, four d six. 46 damage. I did boom, not. Jack a lock of boom goes the dynamite. Yeah, right. yeah, guide, so guiding 16. bolt is a horrendously powerful first level spell. Points of damage. Um, yep. As then, you. Oops, sorry. Oh, do you have something you'd like to do as your bonus action? I did. I, I want to run up to him and I want to bite him. All right, cool. Um, so as you lift up your hand and you feel this radiant energy coursing through your hand and shoot out at this creature and slam into get uh, slam into it you watch as its fur and its flesh start to burn away um you close the distance almost like that um how would you or well i was about to say how you would you like to do this decide (laughs) please all right um i'm gonna run up to him and kind of take a flying leap and like grab like as i'm in the air grab his head and then force it down and bite the back of his neck and tear it out yeah so you <laughs> jump down in there you grab a good chunk of his neck rip it out as he as this creature tries to let out one final howl um and before it manages it's just like <laughs> as the the blood is you know, coagulating in his throat um, and it slumps down dead, uh, almost on top of Mort. But Gino, thankfully, you have Mort's hand and are able to pull him out of the way. Hell yeah! Um, Told you, he smelled weird. Well, he, he, look, he wasn't the, he wasn't a vampire. True, <clears throat> you know. <laughs> At least we got this going for us. Um, also, what the hell? Uh, are these the kind of wolves we'll be facing? Uh, yeah, that's a really good question. Hey, Thad. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> gonna, gonna, gonna bust out some smelling salts from my from my pouch and just like wave them under his uh, wave them under his nose. Um, before you do that, let me double check one thing. I should have read the whole thing. Uh... Oh, did we kill? Did he kill Thad? <laughs> Are we going to have to take that home to his dad? Did he split into two tiny werewolves? 
No, I just wanted to make sure his sleep wasn't for like a certain amount of time, you know, without mm. somebody waking you up. So yeah, you take the time, get some smelling salts under the nose, and he's just like, I got the <laughs> staff like randomly in the air. Um do, do you save Mort? Yeah, do Mort's you- fine. Yeah, it, that, uh, that's all. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, it uh it appears this Jack might have been a uh a lichen. So uh any odds? What 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 are what are the odds that um these are the wolves you're dealing with? Um and not likely. Um I saw a couple of them when we were out herding the sheep and um they seem like regular more- wolves. They were just—they seem like regular wolves to me. All right. Well, this is—I mean, this is definitely weird. And he looks over and kind of half disgusted, half horrified by this, whatever this creature is. Well, yeah, I've just had a lot of run-ins with supernatural elements lately, and uh, boy, I'd be—I'd just be real happy if these wolves were just regular wolves that I can actually hit. Uh, that'd be, that'd be <laughs> that aren't impervious to knives yeah <laughs> just fight one regular living thing <laughs> I'd appreciate that yeah I mean the wolves seem normal to me <laughs> ah good is, is it still early in the night or do like, uh, you still get a rest in or is this yeah you guys still get your long rest in okay uh, nice. Yeah, get my spell slot back. Throughout the for for your next day, go ahead and give me a. I get my uh, regeneration back. Go ahead and give me a survival or animal handling check. Um, you guys made up some time. Oof. I'll say you could help with that if you. Oh, nine. Well, never mind. Um, <laughs> Bad. That's why. Yeah. What? I'm getting used to the whole vampire thing. No, is, that... aggro, is aggro going too slow? Yeah. That, that didn't get any better, guys. Um, <laughs> you guys spend the next the, the next whole day um, kind of talking and figuring things out. Um, and as the uh, as the night starts to close in around you guys, um, on the far end of your distance, maybe about 500 feet out, or, or maybe about five 600 feet out or so. Um, you begin to notice lights. Oh, thank God. Thank. Looks like a, <laughs> looks like a choice of sorts. Uh, it's off in the distance, but it's like North east of you guys. So you guys head, head down the road, uh, head down the, the road for another little bit and then veer off onto this cart path that heads into the village of Welton. Um, not a whole lot to see. Uh, since it's dark, but the lights and the, you know, with the lights on and everything semi-illuminated, you guys notice a small village um, where the main portion of the buildings are this, and even the roof are these, this nice soft white color, the shingling almost looking like clouds. Um, You bring aggro and your cart to a stable uh, before, uh, you know, uh, where where a one of the stable boys starts to help you unhitch aggro and get him into a slot um, or into, into one of the stable uh, pens. Uh, Thad and Mort kind of give you a nod and we'll go uh, we'll go let my father know that you guys are here. Um, feel free to stay in your cart or I mean even come by our house and you guys and spend the night with us. Um, we owe you that much at least. Um, you know, uh, but we'll let you know he's, or we'll let him know you guys are here and, and prepare beds for you. All right, we'd appreciate it. Thank. Mm-hmm. More it's like, uh, thanks again. <sighs> Keep your feet under your lad. What an unfortunately voiced kid. Yeah, so unfortunate. He's gonna get. Oh, oh, he's still here. Oh, we. Hi. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, I. You know, talking it's a to... family thing. My dad's pretty messed up too. Oh, I was, I was, I was talking about the <laughs> old man. All right, bye. <laughs> insight check from Mort. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna roll a full insight check now. 
the highest roll on Vorpal all night. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Guys, seriously. It's like a 12. Ridiculous. All right. He runs off. He believes it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, well, how are you feeling? Well, starting to get a little hungry again. Um, but hey, I'm I'm actually I, I'm thrilled about this development of like figuring out that I can, you know, smell things, it smell danger. You know, it's it's like a I don't know. I I identified him as not food. It's like a sixth sense, except it's one of the senses you already have. Exactly, it's a better fifth sense. The yes. Excellent. Well, I'm glad to glad to hear it. But this time, instead of Bruce Willis, I've been dead the entire time. <laughs> well, tomorrow, uh -huh. tomorrow, it sounds like we're going to be partied up the whole time. So we might as well get this over with now. Um, I just kind of like hold my arm out <laughs> again. Oh, wait, you're on this side of the screen for me. I bite you and I drink it. But you I don't gotta, do any you gotta, damage. You gotta, like, you gotta like loop your your arm around to come out this way. Right, so right. That I can like other way. There we go. This is re it's really important that we get we're, this detail we're correct this down now because later. Yeah. This is, has to be regular. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my tan line! Look at that. <laughs> I know. All right. My whole, <laughs> your, your hand is huge. There we go. <laughs> you need All right. Let's out. hit it. But I, I would right. just like to point I out that his it. hand turns into a Rakshasa hand because it's facing the wrong way. But oh, <laughs> <laughs> do Rakshasa like, have flipped hands? I didn't know that. Yeah, That's they do. Yeah, I was like, thank you, God. Because the thumbs. Um, excellent. Where would you guys like to stay for the night, safe and sound within? I'm gonna, the of I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in that house. <laughs> whether they, um, whether oh they want me or not. Awesome. <laughs> walk up to the door. Um, an older man. I mean, not like old, old, but probably late, uh, mid to late forties, uh, by fantasy standards. That's old. Uh, he answers the door. Can I help you? <clears throat> Gino Zabani at your service. Um, I believe your sons came in. Yeah, uh, Rag Shear at your service. Thanks for saving my sons. Ah, no problem. Just uh, average lycanthrope attack. What? They didn't say lycanthrope. Ah, yeah, it was. Uh, it was. It was. How big of a lycanthrope? Like I, he wasn't one of the... Uh, how, how well do I know my lycanthropes? Uh, roll a history or nature or survival. I'll take the survival. 13. 13? Um, you would know... So you would know that those are something called jackal wares, which are, <laughs> aren't, technically, aren't technically lycanthropes. Um, oh. they are, you know, enough that they are, um, abyssal change wings, essentially. Oh, like, like mm. uh, yeah, uh, it's more, it's more demonic and abyssal nature that shifted them from actual jackals into these were creatures. They are like classified as were creature shape changer types, but they're not typical lycanthropes. Let me rewind this conversation. Uh, it's they're they're more <laughs> lycanthrope adjacent, similar in it was a changeling, uh, it's a jackal. Yeah. Word, I should say, yeah. Awesome. So, well, um, uh, council awesome. tomorrow. Uh, awesome, uh, awesome. Uh, a, a demon almost killed my son. <laughs> hey, and, uh, that's all that matters. Um, yeah. Um, so uh, you know. You guys are more than welcome to stay. Council meeting is going to take place tomorrow. Um, and we're going to hopefully have an answer as to what is best in terms of dealing with these wolves and, and get some more information for you guys. Um, there's a few witnesses from a search party that went out um, while, while you guys were gone or while my sons were gone, I guess, uh, finding you guys. Uh, they may have some more information for us. We haven't heard from them yet, uh, but that'll take place in the morning. 
Excellent. Well, if there's anything I love more than taking action, it's having a meeting and talking about it. So looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> kind of rolls his eyes as he like lets you in. Uh, second floor, first on the right. And straight on till morning? Yeah. Excellent. Uh, and as you guys fall into sleep in the village of Welton, prepared for the next day of going on some sort of quest or adventure to hopefully find some wolves that are less deadly and easier to kill than things you've killed today. Uh, yeah. That's where we're going to wrap things up. Oh, oh. Uh, all right. But before I want to fight some wolves. <laughs> before we end really quick, our next episode that will be featuring our lovely Chris Solo and Chelsea uh, what's Chelsea's last name? Oh, Chelsea Logan. 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 Yeah, yeah, I should know that. Uh, you... <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> playing Viago. Yeah, I should know that, guys. I'm sorry. Who are playing Viago and uh, Thea. Uh, that will take place in two weeks from, or no, three weeks from, that, from today on June 12th. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Logan. Uh, you thank, you, thank you, everyone. It was a really awesome show. I just want to remind everybody that we don't have Origins of Ugador on Monday. We have a special uh, veteran game for Memorial Day. Uh, we also do not have a Realms of Ugador on Wednesday. We're taking that day off because we have a special uh, three-day event where we are bringing back the Create Your Own Adventure uh, game, which is now called Ukador, The Choice is Yours, which will be a persistent campaign. Uh, so we are going to roll back the players to level 5 when they actually meet uh, and find Captain Brutus and the Ancient Wyvern and become a crew, a Muttley crew, if I may. Uh, but nice. that whole three-day event is a charity event for the Child's Play charity. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned with that. Uh, I actually don't even remember what time I'm starting. Because uh, what is time? Uh, but yeah. we are going to raid... don't hurt me. <laughs> we are going to raid <laughs> the one-shot questers. So go ahead and spread the Fabled 42 Cantor love. And we will see you all next time. Have a wonderful night. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.